Hello everyone, welcome to the start of my new min-max here. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to be trying to use every strategy that I've figured out now, basically clay farming, the map predictor to efficiently clay farm. I'm going to use a seed um, based off of Blade's um, YouTube video where he did the Penny marriage in the shortest amount of time as possible, which basically you get a crazy amount of energy restoring items from trash cans and also some pepper poppers from the saloon. I'm going to be using dynamic seed seeding, which I'll show off in a little bit, where you basically change the game seed to change a whole bunch of stuff. I'm still not crazy familiar with how that works, so it's kind of going to be figuring it out as I go along there. But basically, the goal of this stream is to set up the run before we even get started with the first day. There's a whole lot that's going to go into planning, and that's basically finding the right seed to use and what to do the first day. And then I'm going to hope to get the first day done. The first day will definitely take multiple attempts to get perfect, but we're going to try to go all out on this one. Definitely going to take a lot of real life time but the more real life time i put into a min max the less in-game time it'll end up taking and that's the goal so the seed gives me this stuff from the trash can and then we can take a look at the saloon here gus will sell a couple of pepper poppers now this is blade seed that he found i was also considering using um i think a seed that Piano Addict found, where there was like 11 or so pepper poppers from the saloon. But this one also gives us a bunch of leaks around, so it'll basically be free energy restoring items, which I think is super important. Because these are 400 gold a piece, and we don't want to be wasting all of our money on them. And then another thing, I gotta show this off before Clint closes at 4 o'clock. For now, I'm gonna turn down the sound and footstep a bit. I'm gonna be needing to count my steps, I'm pretty sure. So, that'll be fun when the time comes. It'll be soon. But right before Clint closes, there is a geode I got here, and the first day we will be needing to buy 45 copper ore 20 for the furnace, 25 to smelt into 5 bars for the pickaxe upgrade. So, this geode right here gives us 20, and this was also used in the blade penny marriage route. So, basically the seed is just really good for the first day, and then we can use the dynamic seeding to change the other days, but we'll get to that when the time comes. So, anyway, let's show off my plan here. I'm going to open up the spreadsheet. This is Cordite spreadsheet. And basically this is this is based off of not the seed you make when you first make the game, but the seed that you will or the seed that you will load into the game. I believe, or no, this is the other way around. This is the seed that, let me double check this. Yeah, this is going to be the seed, and I'll show it off in a little bit, that we base the game off of, and then we'll load into the game with a different seed, and that's what the map predictor will be based off of. So this is like the game seed when we're first creating the save, and we'll see that soon. But nothing is too appealing in this first comm, so we'll probably have to walk more than 200 steps, but we're basically looking for good luck on the second day. I don't know what I'm going to do the second day, but if we decide to try to get lucky from fishing, maybe it'll make more than clay farming, just because with increased luck we can get more treasure chests, and then good thing from treasure chests. So, not sure yet, but we are aiming for best luck possible, but I did notice if we do 200 steps here, and then an additional, let's see, 
an additional 111 steps for a total of 311 steps walked in the day we can get the best daily luck possible point one and 13 spicy eels from the saloon so that seems like a pretty good plan to me right now so we're going to be aiming for 311 steps walked so we'll have to be counting our steps so let's see how that goes now let's go back to the game real quick so that was just a test save we're gonna start from scratch now we're gonna go with captain canadia and interestingly i don't know why this is but when i press spacebar it types an R, so I have no idea why that is, but we're just going to do no space, I guess. We're going to just stick with the old Canadian farm, and then our favorite thing will be clay. Because that's how we're going to make our money. So, the seed. When we create the save, the seed is going to be, again, the one that Blade used. Which was this one just gotta go grab the seed all right so this is i i think if i understand this correctly this is gonna base um like how the forgeable spawn and some other stuff and then when we reload in with like the dynamic seeding it will base the trash can items off of that so let's be a female character because if you do choose female you get 500 g early on as opposed to if you choose a male character so every little bit counts so we will be using that to our advantage i'm gonna make my hair green like i did in my other run just because green's my favorite color nothing important there oh i was changing my pants color i guess we can have green pants as well but we'll be sticking with this character for the rest of the run so might as well make her look as good as we can although i guess we can change it later from the wizard tower I always forget about that let's give her blue eyes um Pick some random shirt, whatever catches my eye. Should we just go green? Just all green? I actually kind of like the overalls, which I think are the default ones. So let's cycle all the way through to just the default. All right, we'll skip intro. I think everything is good here now. We've got the... Oops. <laughs> I pressed the random button. So let's speed run. Getting the character back how we like. A little shirt number one. Pants were a little bit different. All right. There, that's pretty good. All right. So... Let's go ahead and, oh wait, I want my eyes to be blue. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You can always change that later on. All right, so we don't actually play throughout this day. We have to exit and then reload in the save with a dynamic seeding. So you can see we have three leaks here, and there will be some more leaks across the map. But what I want to showcase is the trash cans, because the trash cans, I think, is the most obvious difference that we'll be able to see. So, from this trash can, nothing. This trash can has a pepper poppers. 
and then Lewis says nothing, and then we'll check the one by the museum, because this will be the one that will have a geode in. So, yep, nothing. So check this out. Let me grab the seed real quick. And now we're going to go new game, which may seem odd because we already created the file, but we're going to go into the seed here, paste in that seed, and this is the one. This is the same exact one Blade used in his Penny, trying to marry Penny as soon as possible. And we're actually going to go back. We're not going to make this save, but for some reason, I don't know how this works, but the game now thinks when we load in this previous save that we just made, it's going to use that seed. So now, if we go out this way again, we still have these leaks here. I believe there are quite a few spring onions as well down in Cindersap Forest that we'll see. But now that we have used this seed, we'll notice over here there's a cookie in Evelyn's trash can. We still have a Pepper Poppers. Mayor Lewis has a field snack. So already a bunch of free energy restoring items, so that's really good. And then the big one is getting the 20 copper from the geode here. And I'm pretty sure the 20 copper from the geode is probably based off of... Let's see, we, we can actually take a look at this. So I'm going to open back up my browser and go to the predictor. So we can see... The seed right now that I have is 50733, which was, I believe, the, the first seed. But I think if we change it to, let's see, how do you, um, Let me see what happens if I just paste in. I'm not sure how to just look at only the seed here. Can I? No. <laughs> I could create a new game. So basically what I'm trying to do here is show off if I use the dynamic seed that we're going to use, the new seed, that in the geodes here we will see um, 20 copper ore and in this first slot here. So I know there should be a way to just load in just the seed, but I'm having trouble with that right now. Anybody happens to know, please let me know and I'll show that off. But otherwise, what I can do is create a new save file and show it off, but it's not worth it. Basically, we will be getting 20 copper ore because of the dynamic seeding, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's close the predictor here. Go back to Stardew. <laughs> hey, Alex, yeah. I don't even know if this run that I'm starting right now is gonna be the final one I do, but I have to start somewhere. And Basically, I'm going to have to probably re-record footage for when I make a guide out of this, because my end goal is to make a series video guide out of these, but I couldn't figure out a way to live stream and record game footage at the same time, so we'll see how that goes, but I definitely will be making a video guide. 20 copper, the max amount from one geode? I think so? I haven't ever seen more than that. I think 20 ore is the most ore I've seen at once, but 
Um, we can actually wait like just a little bit of time and open this geode and just double check that we will be getting 20 copper ore. While we wait, I also wanted to take a look around the map because we will need to see exactly what is all around the map in terms of like forageables and stuff. Let's turn down the ambient volume because the beach can get quite loud. But we've got some mussels and a clam. We can't sell these to Willy right away, so we'd have to pick these up and keep them in our inventory, which can be quite annoying. However, we might be getting the... Most likely we'll get the second pack upgrade because it's only 2,000 G, so... I believe that's very doable. And then we'll need... Oh, I need to grab a calculator. Um, should have a calculator somewhere. One second. Get one in my bag. For min-max runs, keeping a calculator, because the computer calculators are so, I don't know, using the mouse is just not as convenient as one of these, so. Copper ore, 75G a piece times, so we get 20 from the opening the geo, but opening the geo costs 25G. So 75 times 25 puts us at 1,875 plus 25 is 1,900 G. And then real quick, let's open this geode and see what we get. Yeah, 20 copper ore. So we do get the 20 copper ore, so that's good. And then we'll need to buy... 25 more copper ore from Clint. So before we start to actually try out the day, let's just take a wander around the whole entire map and see how many forgeables. I believe, again, if I recall correctly from the, um, from Blade's video with the Penny Marriage, I believe there were nine leaks, which is quite a lot. I don't know if it's going to be worth, well, we'll probably want to, we'll probably want to plant the mixed seed, because I think part of his seed was a crop fairy, so in the min-max run, I'm not going to be doing the community center route, I don't know if, I mean, growing crops, we will need to get to farming level six, or what, well, I actually don't know, because if we think about it, if we're growing starfruit in summer, we're going to be making it rain every day and not using sprinklers, because sprinklers just aren't worth our time when we can just make it rain every single day from either rain totems, from school cavern, or counting our steps. So... No, it's 15 from a... 1 to 5 from a copper node. Yeah, something like that from the node. But the geodes... The geodes actually sometimes only give like 1 or 2, but... So 20 is quite a bit. But yeah, we can see quite a few more leaks over here, too, by the mountains. Um, we can't go over there until day 5, anyway. And then... We will make our way up here at some point in the day. Robin's closes at 5 p.m. I'm pretty sure. So we need to get to Clint before um, 4 o'clock. Hello, Handler, and hello, Mr. Ploop2000. So I'm not actually, I know my name can be a little bit deceiving, Canadia, but Canadia is very different from Canada. I'm not actually Canadian. It actually just has been my username on social media and my, like, game tag kind of for as long as I can remember growing up. So it's just kind of stuck with me. Haven't ever changed it, so... Really has nothing to do with Canada. But, yeah. Um, we're gonna make our way down to Cindersap Forest to see... 
how many forgeables are down there. And then... Basically, I want to see what route I need to take. I want to see if I need to go over this way. Because we are, obviously, trying to minimize the amount of space we need to walk over. So if we can avoid going over to this area, it'd be great. But it looks like... It looks like Blade did a very nice job with this seed. Because, I guess, if we want this stand line, this is the furthest we'll have to walk out of our way. And then... We'll see if there's anything down here. But yeah, from what I can understand, choosing a seed is basically making a script that'll create the seeds and then go through and see exactly what requirements and like... I thought about maybe getting involved in doing that, but I might as well just use the best one that I know of right now. But anyway, there is a wild horse radish down there. That's probably not worth our time, because wild horse radishes, if I remember, don't actually restore a whole lot. Now, there aren't any spring onions down here, it looks like. Which is fine, that means um, we don't really have to go into Cindersap Forest at all, except if we want the Wild Horseradish here, and Dandelion over there. And another Dandelion. So this actually has quite a few forgeables. But... Yeah, this is gonna definitely take a few tries, I can already tell. Let's see, my idea right now is to start at the farm, clay farm on the farm. We need to level up a skill to wake up with full energy tomorrow, so... Spring onions change randomly, even with the same seed. Okay, that's good to know. So, if we want to take advantage of spring onions... then we might have to reload the save a few times. Now, if you noticed here, I didn't... I want to test something real quick, because I'm not actually sure about the answer, but I didn't go to new game. I did not put in the seed to dynamic seed the game. And I want to see... I I'm pretty sure we have to do that every time we restart the day. I'm pretty sure, but I just want to double check. Because if we don't have to, then it saves us some time. But I'm pretty sure we have to do it every time, because the game will forget. And we'll see that if we get a cookie here or not, and we do not. Okay, so yeah, every time we reload the game, we have to set up the seed again. Which is fine. That's what I expected. So, we're going to check for spring onions. Apparently spring onions are not dependent on the seed, so I guess we can keep restarting the day and get lucky or not with them. But what this means is we'll probably want to check for spring onions first thing in the day, as opposed to, like, waiting, or else it's going to take too many retries and take way too much time. So, ideally, we should clay farm for a while on the farm, chop a few trees, make a chest, get to foraging level 1 before we go. So I'm not sure if restarting the day many times for spring onions is worth it or not, but we are gonna... I just want to verify this. I want to see if we can actually restart the day and get some spring onions. So, let's take a look. Remember when you followed my first walkthrough, you used seed eight. 
reloaded multiple times and you got a good amount of spring onions okay yeah i'm not exactly sure that's the third time and i haven't gotten any yet let me try loading the save here with the other seed see what happens Right. All right, so we go back and then reload. But yeah, the the seeds here are pretty crazy because getting all of that free energy first day as opposed to having to spend some of our earnings for like salads from the saloon is really a game changer so i'll check one or two more times but if we don't get any spring onions could be that you need to make a fresh world instead of reloading okay yeah you might be right i think you're right because we haven't found any so that's fine we can make a fresh world and then still use the same seeds and that's not a big deal but yes i think you're right so i have no idea what determines spring onions but definitely definitely looking like we need to make a fresh world so i'm gonna grab the original seed not the one we're using dynamically I'm gonna go back to new game. I'll be maybe doing this a few times. We'll keep the default close. Let's just make the hair the basic straight down one and then change the color to green and then paste in the seed and skip intro and then i think we should be good all right now we check for spring onions which i believe the quickest way to do this is to take a screenshot once we get to cinder sap forest might save some time Let's, let's try that out. All right, so you go down here, screenshot, and then sometimes it takes a little bit for the screenshot to process and to be able to open it. Um, according to my screenshot, there are no spring onions down there, but just in case, let me... Okay, yeah. It does show the forgeables and stuff, so we want to try again. Oh uh, yeah, I will be using animation canceling, especially for clay farming. If we, if we didn't use it for clay farming, then it would take way too much time, so I will definitely be using it. And, I'll, and I can go over exactly what I use for that and whatnot, but we gotta get these spring onions right first, which might take a little bit of doing. But again, we're going all out on this one. I guess everything except for obviously no mods, no... Nothing that modifies the game. Um, where did the hair I like go? It was this one. And yeah, pretty much just, I guess, um, oops, keep clicking the wrong thing. I don't actually know if the, there used to be something where if you named like 
something like this, like an item ID or something. You'd get that item every time your name was said. I don't know if that still works or not, but I, I feel like that's cheating. I won't be doing that. Um, the casino, you can get infinite gold basically day three of summer. So I don't know if a run has been done like that yet, but I guess that's kind of sort of cheating in my book. But I'll be using pretty much all of the external tools that exist that don't actually modify the game itself. Uh, Alright. It still works. Yeah, it's tough because, like, then it's like I feel like my rules are inconsistent because it technically exists in the game, so it's like I don't know, but at some point you gotta make some sort of um like call uh, onto what is considered okay, but there's a lot of gray areas when it comes to I mean, all sorts of video game speedruns and challenges, but that's okay. Alright, let's go back down to Cindersat Forest and see if we have some spring onions waiting for us. Clay farming ruins it for me. Yeah, I used to think clay farming wasn't um, too exciting, but using Blade's um, map predictor is actually kind of fun. As opposed to having to follow a pattern and stuff, I can just, like, kind of incorporate it into my route, which we'll see in a little bit, which I kind of enjoy. But anyway, let's see if there are spring onions down here. And still no spring onions, so we'll try one or two more times, I guess. Ninety-nine percent of the forges were the same. Handler said, "In your many hours of testing, you found that the same seed, spring onions, and trash would be a little different, but ninety-nine percent of forges were the same." Yeah, I'm not too sure what's with that exactly. I'm gonna try this one more time and. If it doesn't work, the spring onions aren't that big of a deal. We'll save some time not having to go down and grab them anyway, but... Alright. Wish there was a way to tell the spring onions right off the bat rather than having to go all the way down to Cinderset Forest, but don't think there is too much we can do about that. Alright. Gotta walk a little bit because sometimes the screenshot takes a little bit to process. Still looks like there's no spring onions down there, so I'm not not really sure what's up with that. Will I even have space in the inventory for them? Well, if we get like 10 or... Like, I know in some runs, people have gotten like 10 to 15 spring onions, which can make quite a big difference. So... If we get that many, we will make space for them. But honestly, I'm not sure. Let me load in the game one more time with the... Let me think. I, in this test file, I used the same seed, I believe. So I'm curious as if... um. 
the spring onions are any different for this one. But I guess worst case, spring onions don't restore a whole bunch anyway. But, again, they are, they are tempting if we can get it to work with them. Okay, so, this is the same seed and everything, and there are one, two, three, four, five spring onions. So, what I'm going to try to do is, rather than deleting this save and making a new one, I'm just going to make a new one and see if that impacts it at all. Maybe it does, I have no idea. But I'm, I'm trying everything right now to get it to work. And don't worry, Handler, you're not wasting my time at all, because I'm trying to get this first day to be absolutely perfect. That's the first day, and even before the first day, we need the seed to set up the entire run. So. Let's see, I... Yep, I put in the seed. We're good there. And change our hair and let's go. So maybe, maybe just maybe we'll get better luck with the spring onions now that. I don't know. I don't know what determines it. Maybe it's just random every time, but... Hello, Stephanie. Glad you could join the stream. So basically, the goal is this is... Alright, hopefully we're back. All right. Thanks, Julius. All right, yeah, not sure what's up with that. I guess my internet isn't the most reliable here, but... All right, I think we're back. So, so yeah, as I was saying, I think recreating the save file here does seem to be working, so we're going to keep doing this until we get at least... 10 or so spring onions which shouldn't take too many attempts i've got the game volume turned down now which sounds a little off to me not hearing anything but that's okay i'll turn the sound back up because every time you restart the game it uses whatever you had as your last default We'll turn the music on for now. Once I start the actual run, I'm going to have the music off. Probably should have the sound off. Probably should have everything off except for footsteps because we need to count our steps. But for now, let's enjoy the game music and sound effects. Now, I have no idea what the settings are right now for like hearing on YouTube Live right now. I don't know if you can even hear the game music, but... If I turn up any more than that, it's like blasting in my ears, so we're going to keep it down at that. Looks like no spring onions here, so let's restart the day again. And eventually, eventually we will get what we're looking for. All right, and I can't forget to turn my hair to green. We gotta find the optimal route to get down to Cinderset Forest to save us the most time here. 
Because we're going to be doing this a few times, unless we get lucky this time. Who knows? Maybe this is the one. But I think it is a little bit faster if I take a screenshot real quick. Open the folder. And no spring onions. So, let's try it again. Alright, even if I get like eight, if I get like eight or so, I'm happy. I just, more than five, five isn't a whole lot. I've seen people get like over ten before. And, yep, I got the seed in there, so we're good there. I really don't know what determines the spring onions. Because it's, it's interesting, because everything seems to be determined by something. Like, the seed determines a whole bunch of stuff, and then, based off of that, combined with, like, steps and a whole bunch of other variables that are tracked throughout the game, like, your amount of machines and a bunch of other stuff determines other random stuff like the luck and everything else so it seems like something's gotta determine this but i guess there's really no way to track it as far as i'm aware all right we got two spring onions on this one so we're not giving up yet we're not loading and we're going to new game at least seven or eight. All right, seeds good. I keep forgetting to change my eye color. Obviously, it's not important, but all right. Let's try. Yeah, it was nice to see that there were two spring onions there. Because <laughs> the last couple times there were none, so I was afraid I was doing something wrong. But they were definitely there. And I know you can't see the screenshot, but they were there. Ooh, my hair's a little bit more olive green this time. Interesting. It'll be interesting to see what variation of green the hair turns out to be. Because it's slightly different every time I do it. Because I'm not doing it to like pixel perfect exactness. I know, I won't be driving myself mad, but... Okay, this one has one, one single spring onion. Don't worry, Handler, won't be driving myself mad here, but I am willing to try a good amount of times in order to get at least like seven or eight, I think, is a good goal. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, if I can't restart the day, like, a whole bunch of times in a row to do this, then how am I going to do the rest of the run, so... This is going to be the test to see if I have what it takes for the rest of the run. Because there's definitely... And I don't know if I'm going to be doing just only spring or, like, a full year yet. I don't know if I need to know necessarily right now. I think... Just starting with the first day here is enough, so... Yeah, I think one step at a time, we're gonna figure out this first day here. And then that'll set up the rest of the run. Alright. Let's go. And hopefully get some spring onions. I don't know if it's better to plant those parsnip seeds or sell them. I should have studied more before going into this, but that's okay. I kind of like figuring out things as I go. I th think part of this seed, I think I may have mentioned it, but I think part of this seed is a crop fairy, a crop fairy event. So I believe Ooh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spring onions, which is 
Uh, I'm gonna be hypocritical if I if I skip over this one, but let's take let's take a double check real quick. So I'm tempted. I'm greedy. I want at least like ten spring onions, but I know I just said I'd be happy with seven or eight, and now I get eight. Let's see. They heal thirteen energy a piece. Which is like, I think every hoe or like tool use is two energy. So basically, we get like six and a half tool uses for every spring onion. Compared to like a wild horseradish. It's like the same as that, but I think leeks restore like 40 or something energy are a lot better. So, I want to put this seed aside. Um, just in case. Just in case I can't find anything better, I'm going to copy the folder. Basically what I'm doing is going into my Stardew Valley folder, copying my save file, pasting it on my desktop just for easy access. And now I'm gonna restart. Because every time we started this new save here, you saw that it was overwriting my old save since we're using like the same name, same seed and everything. So basically if in the next like 10 or however many attempts we feel like doing we don't get anything good we can fall back on the one that had eight so we'll have at least eight now and and, and that's why this isn't too bad because we can always fall back on like our last one it's not like gambling where it's like all or nothing or double or nothing or whatever you'd call it but let's try couple more times because getting like yeah at least 10 or 15 would be great and yep we're good okay Um, will there be a new Perfection series? Really enjoyed the first one. Um, maybe. If I ever want to do a Perfection challenge, it'll probably be like the one Habu did, where he did Perfection in just one year. So he basically slept over until the second year and then did Perfection within the first day of year two to the last day of year two, which I think is interesting but the hard thing with perfection is okay this one has zero spring onion so let's restart hard thing with perfection is there's like that that's like the least amount of time you can do it because of the cooking recipes so there isn't really any improvement that can be done on it so we'll, we'll see but for now i'm gonna be trying in more of the min maxing money route sort of thing Let's see farm name thing. how many times am i going to be filling out all this stuff here gotta do it as many times where it becomes like just a second nature habit for me to do all this here but hey i think that's good Let's So energy is the limiting factor. Um no, time is definitely still going to be our limiting factor always. But like on the first day, energy is very important. 
we can... We don't have to worry about energy because we can farm enough clay to sell to Robin in order to, like, get more energy. Because we'll get, like, thousands of G from Robin and then we're gonna go to the saloon and we can buy salads. But basically, if we can find spring onions and other forgeables, we're saving on money that we would be spending on salads. And we can spend them on other stuff, like a storage upgrade, or um, what else? We need 25 copper ore, of course, so a whole bunch of other things. What is the gold goal for the first day? That's a very good question that I don't know the answer to. I'm hoping at least like 10,000 G. Um, but of course we're going to be spending a lot of that money. So essentially, um, we need 1,900 for... 25 copper ore, we need um, plus 2,000 for the pack upgrade, and then we need um, what else? Maybe some coffees from the saloon? And try like 300 G a piece, so Really, it's however much we can make, but we need at least like 4,000 for the necessities. And we can do that by selling clay to Robin before. We need to do it before like 3 o'clock because we need to get to Clint's by 4 o'clock. Um, sorry, I could be restarting the day here while I. Oh no. Okay. I didn't click skip intro, but it looks like I can just press escape and skip down there. I was afraid. Afraid it was going to force me to watch that intro that I've definitely seen many times before in my past, but I can't recite it now because I haven't probably in over two years viewed it. But anyway, let's hope this one gets us at least 10 spring onions. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can do better than that. At least ten. Alright, I'll, I'll say this right now. If I get at least ten, I'm going with it. And I'll, I'll hold myself to that. I know before I said seven or eight I'll be happy with, but... I got that after just a few ten, so... Watch, now that I've said that, I'm gonna get exactly ten. Not like 15, not 20. I'm going to get exactly 10. But I'll be happy with that because it's better than nothing. All right, we're skipping intro. I think everything's good here. Let's go. It looks like we're getting quite a few mixed seeds just by kind of swiping all these weeds down here. I'm not sure if we want to plant them all first day or not. I think we most likely will just for the... Just because we'll get a crop fairy tonight with the seeds, so... Oh, forgot to... Do it faster by taking a screenshot. Four spring onions. Alright. No, don't load. We will get ten eventually. We'll definitely get ten eventually. It's just gonna take a little bit of... Well, actually, I can't say that. We might get ten this next time. We might get twenty this next time, but it's all random. Oh, I keep changing my pants on accident. Uh, 
I think everything's set up. All right, there we go. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Glad you liked the playthrough. All right, hopefully this is the one. So yeah, I was planning from the start that this first day is going to take like a few hours just to get right. Because again, the first day, definitely the most important. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, hello, glad you can join the stream. Um, you haven't necessarily missed two. Oh wait, there's two spring onions down here. Basically, right now, what I'm doing is just in an endless loop cycle of checking for as many spring onions as I can get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight was the one we found before. We need at least ten. But basically, I've just kind of gone over the seed I'm using, and I'm going to be using dynamic seeding, which basically will change, like, the trash can items and what the dish of the day at the saloon is and a whole bunch of other stuff um kind of basing off of blade's video where he married penny in such a short amount of time kind of that first day i'm using the same seed as that one but basically right now Every time we create the new game, the spring onions are re-rolled. So I'm just really hoping for at least like 10 spring onions. I believe in that video that Blade did, I think he got like 15 to 20 spring onions. I don't know how many times he had to restart for that or if he just got lucky, but... I definitely like at least 10. But then other than that, we're going to be just doing this first day here. Going to be clay farming to make money for the pack upgrade and enough copper ore for the first pickaxe upgrade. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... <laughs> Of course, it's exactly 10, but we'll go with this one. All right, we found the seed, finally. Oh, I misspoke. We found the, the version of the seed that we're going to use. So, I'm going to use this file. All right, what's the next step? The next step is the route. So I'm thinking we start on the farm. You know, honestly, we'll just load in the game and kind of route as we go. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it rather than trying to plan this whole thing beforehand. Definitely we'll have to restart the day at least one time, but let's see, day one. But I think it's okay. So, here we go. So before we actually load in, we need to go to new game here. Need to put in a different seed here. This is the seed that's gonna let us get a bunch of energy restoring items from trash cans, as well as um, a think maybe that's what determines the 20 copper or from the geode predictor or the geode predictor because it when i was showing up with the first seed it didn't show up like that so yeah i think that impacts the like everything that mousy pounds predictor predicts i think the dynamic seed does impact that so we load it in what are we going to do first we're going to Turn off the zoom button so that if I'm over here, I don't accidentally... Well, 
yeah. Because anytime I'm accessing these zoom buttons, I'm going to be like moving around and it just makes more sense to go into the menu, pause the game and manually zoom in and out. So let's... I might zoom in just a little bit, like keep it default. Because I know I made that joke video for April Fools where I zoomed all the way in, but honestly, sometimes when you're zoomed all the way out, it's a little bit harder to see things. So we'll, we'll kind of get a feel for that and see if zoom in, zoom in actually does help. But anyway, music off, sound off, footsteps all the way up. And let me load back up, not the predictor here, but the step counter. We need 200 plus, where was it? 200 plus, where did it go? Oh, here it is. 200 plus 111 is 311 total steps walked to get day two best luck possible and 13 spicy eels being sold in the saloon which is seems pretty good to me so honestly i should have done this earlier but i i wish there was um I wish I could put up a step counter real quick, but I haven't set that up and I honestly don't know how to set that up quickly. Um, text. Let's see, steps. Let's load back to the game. Sorry, kind of doing this as I go, but I think having a step counter on screen will be nice. So. Let's put it here. Let's make the font size a little bit smaller. How do I do that? Size. I like, I don't know, 64? Sure. That's not bad. All right. We're at zero right now. And we need a total of, what did I say, 311? I'll say out of 311. Let me double check that because we don't want to waste our time here and take the wrong amount of steps. Yeah, 311 total steps is what we need. Okay. And is there an easy way I can keep updating that? I guess I just, yeah, okay. All right, I think I got that figured out. So. We're going to be counting steps, and I think the easiest way to do that is just when I'm going on like a long stretch in like town, just like kind of letting myself go and count. But other than that, I think I want to walk like this. So what we have to think about now is do we try to plant like these parsnip seeds here? or sell them and I think it's going to be best to plant them I stepped one time there if you heard that's two steps there I just want to show that off and I will update those also but yeah basically by turning down everything we can only hear our footsteps and for some reason you can also hear like the trash can and a few other things, which make it a little bit confusing. But I thought I'd just point that out. 
So anyway, what's next? So if we plant these seeds, we do get a crop fairy tonight with the seed, I'm pretty sure. So it's better than just selling them, I'm pretty sure. Because most likely the crop fairy will grow a good amount of them. And then we'll also have some mixed seeds to plant. And mixed seeds we can't get until like later on. Like we could plant these right off the bat, but we're gonna be going around town gathering mixed seeds as we go out throughout the day. So in that case, maybe it's better to actually wait. But real quick, I, I'm gonna restart this day. I just wanna show off some stuff real quick. I'm gonna be using animation canceling. Basically, I am using auto hot key to make it easier because it involves pressing like the delete key and a whole bunch of other keys at the same time in order to cancel. So the easiest way to do it is just to write a script for it. And there's plenty of tutorials out there. You just do a quick Google search and I'm sure you'll be able to find something for that. But I might also make a in-depth tutorial on that later on. But anyway, animation canceling. Here's the speed difference. So if we're chopping a tree normally, that's the speed we go. Animation canceling, this is the speed we go. So it makes quite the big difference, especially with clay farming, because if we're going like this, as opposed to like this speed, it makes a big difference. So definitely going to be utilizing that. And then let's go ahead and restart the day. And every time I do restart the day, we have to be careful to put back in our other seed. We got to go back to new game. Random seed. And then load in the game with that random seed. Okay. So. Going to turn down... Everything's up for footsteps. And three steps. No steps there. Need to make sure I update my step counter. And I'm going to pull up the map predictor now. And I'll show this on my screen. The map predictor, I'm pretty sure, is based off of the, not the original seed I used when creating the file, but rather the seed I just put in, the dynamically loaded seed. So that's what I have in the, in Blade's map predictor right here. We have zero dirt tilled right now, day one, everything should be fine. So in that case, we should have a clay right out here. And I'm going to be trying to start by digging up clay and chopping trees, clearing some space on the farm right here, all at the same time. So every time I dig up a clay, I'm going to have to press this button over here to see where the next clay will be. But you can see usually the clay goes one up, two to the right, and then we'll, it'll have like that usual clay farming pattern, but it's just a lot easier to use the map predictor here. So anyway, I'm going to be mostly kind of pause buffering like this in order to make sure that I don't take any steps when I don't mean to. And I'm also trying to get better at digging up the clay and then pausing right away because every second, every frame is valuable. We want to minimize as much in-game time as possible. And there's definitely time that is passing when I did that. Like, if you looked real closely as I was swinging, I could have paused a little bit earlier. So that's just something that I guess takes practice and I don't have a lot of practice with, so I'll get better at that as I go. But anyway, I'm 
we should still be at three steps. On the map predictor now, we dug up one clay, so the next clay to go for is probably right here. But at the same time, I believe we should be clearing up some space. So, and I didn't take a step there. Again, the trash can's kind of deceiving there. Okay, so like right there, that was a little bit better with the pausing more precisely. But anyway, as you can already tell, this day is going to be quite tedious. I'm hoping day two will be a little bit more interesting because I'm thinking we can make more money from fishing than clay farming because I think with maximum luck, and getting treasure chests and stuff, and then catfishing on day three, I think just maybe we can make more money than clay farming, which would be a nice breather because clay farming obviously can be a little bit exhausting, but the first day, it's the only thing we can really do to make money. So anyway, I just dug up the clay there. This spot right here can't actually be tilled, so we'd have to, and all of these spaces here can't be tilled either. So we have to go over here somewhere, but I am going to probably mine some rocks, but rather than mining specific rock, like these rocks, I want to mine rocks that will give me coal. And the way to do this is by first, in game, I am going to take a screenshot. You want to be at the default 25% zoom level here. Um, before I can load into the map predictor, I do have to move around a little bit for some reason, so we'll start making our way back this way as I do that, and hopefully I can load it in here. But in the map predictor, we can upload map, and then choose our screenshot, and then you can see, this is the screenshot I took, and you can see it definitely helps with clay farming. We'll have to remember our dirt tilt was at 3. But also, if we go to, I believe, oh, no, we want to stay location farm, and then stones here. We can see exactly which stones will have coal. And if there's no stone on a tile, obviously we can't mine that. But if the coal overlay lines up with the stone, like this one right here, it'll give us a coal. And of course we want coal for smelting our copper bars. So. I believe. We'll have to go for this coal over here. And at the same time, we want to clay. I'm probably gonna plant the crop somewhere around this area right by the house here, so I'm going to mine this stone here. Even though it won't give me coal, I'm going to mine that stone to get it out of the way. And then till that spot for the clay. And then I can also till that spot for clay. And then if I want, I can go up to the mailbox here. And I can go up one more, I believe. And yeah, you can already tell it's going to take a lot of real life time here. But seven clay, seven clay. So clay is 20 G a piece. So that's already 140 gold just from 10 in game minutes. So you can already tell this is really the money maker here. But anyway. Let me um look at the map predictor again here. 
There's a clay around like here that we could grab, but I'd rather start making space for the seeds that I wish to plant. And then hopefully we can just plant the seeds maybe in like the tiles that we already have tilled with the clay. I think that's going to be most efficient. So maybe we don't worry about planting the seeds right now. That might be the wisest move. So let's start to make our way back this way. We will have to clear fiber here and the stone. And then we also want to I'm going to try to turn up the music just slightly because I can still count stuff with the music. I think it's the sound that'll probably throw me off, but of course the music comes and goes. So when that comes back, it'll come back, but I do enjoy the music. All right. Anyway, I'm going to turn the map predictor back into stone mode. Yeah, so... The, the fairy, that, that's right, never ever, it's a good, like, good point, but hopefully I'm going to be doing so much clay farming that I will have, like, a good amount of space just, like, all together tilled up, and then we'll plant them close together there. So I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. But anyway, I want to make my way this way. And real quick, let me double check on something. So I mentioned we have to reach foraging level one. Every time we grab a forgeable, we get, I believe, seven XP. Yeah, seven XP. And I think there is like nine leaks and like a couple daffodils and stuff. So we should get like at least 77 foraging XP, if not more. And then every tree we chop um, without the stump, just felling the tree, we get 12 XP. So like 77. And then if we do like two trees, it's 24 XP. It puts us at the 100 XP needed for foraging level two. So foraging le or foraging level one. So foraging level one, we don't really have to plan for that much. We're gonna probably easily reach it because I want to chop a couple trees here in order to make a chest. So we'll try to do that now. But if it seems like it's taking a long time here, it is because we have to be super careful because if we make one wrong move, we might have to restart the entire day, which will end up taking even more time. So patience is really key here, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna be switching this back and forth between tilling, I believe there's one right here. And then we should be able to go one, two. Should be. Oh, I lost track. There's one up there and one up there. Okay, I see. And then let's. Continue trying to make our way to that piece of coal. Which is quite a ways away, actually. Um, right here. Just to get rid of some of this space over here.
Okay. All right, you heard that? That was one step. And that's why it's very important to have that volume turned up because I will inevitably take accidental steps like that, but I'll just update the steps right there and we should be good. Okay, so, and once we get like a energy restoring item, I can use that, like hold that and pause the game, which will be a little bit more convenient. Right now it's kind of hard because I have to quickly unpause and repause to kind of see where I'm trying to go for. But I think this rock right here Uh, it's really hard to tell. I think it's a little bit closer. I think it's, um, did I take a step there? It sounded like it. Let me, does moving through the grass count as, like, does it make a sound? So we potentially took two steps there. And I want to I want to test this out. I'm going to I'm going to have to restart this day, but this is this is worth it to see what makes noise. So here here's what I am thinking. We're moving at a certain speed outside of the grass. When we're in the grass, we move slightly slower, which means we'll take steps like we have to move because like if we move just slightly, we don't take any steps, but moving just slightly in the grass, we are taking those steps. You see what I mean? It's kind of hard to describe, but I believe... That's definitely taking steps there versus here. You have to move like quite a bit. So in order to verify this, what we're going to do is load up a test save here. And this is the start of the day, nothing's ever happened. So we're at zero steps basically. And now one, two, or I need to turn up that volume a little bit, I can't hear. Let me reset that step counter back to zero. Okay, that was one step for sure. That was two steps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, something like that. Okay. So we took a bunch of steps there. I think that was 12. But I'm going to sleep now and then check my save file to see exactly how many steps we took. And I think I took like one more step right there. But now I'm going to go into my save file, which is at um, app data, roaming, Stardew Valley, saves. I'm going to load this test save. I believe, yeah, it's just called test. And open save game info is what it's called. Just going to open it with notepad, notepad or not save game info. It's the, it's going to be the name of your farm and then underscore and then the seed. And I'm just going to search for 
steps. And okay, steps taken are four. Okay. So this means this is, this is kind of important. So this means moving through the grass doesn't actually count. Let's load up this test one. Okay, so I'm at zero steps right now. We'll be done with this little experiment soon, but it's definitely worth our time here. Okay. Touching the grass here. Look, I have music down, sound down, ambient down, footsteps down. So you'd think you would think that noise counts as a step taken. But I don't think it does. Let me just try it one more time. Okay, I took one step there because I heard that step sound. And let's load. This file is called Canadia Test. We're going to open it with Notepad. How many steps taken in this one? Steps taken are at zero. Dimitri says, never ever have you seen Blade get 20 copper out of a geode from one of his... Um, I don't think it was a speeder. It was his Penny run, where he married Penny on like the earliest day possible in spring. I'm pretty sure it's that one he got like 20 copper ore, so or that's at least the same seed I used, so. But anyway. My steps are indeed at zero. Which means which yeah, that means um we need to be careful with the grass. So three steps. Okay. So now when I check it, we should be at like 11 steps. I just want to double check this right here. And again, this might seem tedious and annoying, but if we can't count the steps correctly, then we're not going to be able to get the desired luck we want the next day. Okay, yeah, I'm correct. So 11 steps is what it reads now in the file. So yeah, basically, I think we just need to avoid stepping in grass. Because it makes that noise out of nowhere. and will confuse me a whole lot. So with that in mind, we're gonna resume this one. This is the main file and restart the day and get started with it for real this time. Hopefully for real, I'll probably have to restart a few more times, but if anything, I need to at least practice this. So I don't want tree fell, I want tilling. We're gonna go back to zero here. I'm probably gonna do that same kind of route that I did there. Hello, Justin, glad you can stop by. Glad my series could inspire you. And it's awesome that you're doing your own guide. Hope that goes well. Julius, you say, would you consider using a mod that counts steps for me? Um, I haven't really thought about that. Basically, my rule kind of going in was no 
mods, nothing that modifies the game. So I guess that would be against that. And I know kind of the general like speed running slash min maxing community kind of considers that to be cheating. I'm pretty sure. I know it's annoying, but counting steps shouldn't be too difficult. When I did my April Fool's video, I was able to count the exact amount of steps I need to get the worst daily luck in that one, so it's definitely doable. And only 311 steps, I know it seems like a lot, but it's not terrible. So anyway, let's load this back up. Turn back that, down that volume, footsteps all the way up. Okay. Here we go. We're going to start off, start off by taking like three steps. Three steps. All right. I'm gonna grab the seeds. And then take a few more steps. Did not take a step there because we didn't hear anything. I'm worried that there's something with the, like, because the grass, the door, I don't know if those make sound, but especially this trash can here, it makes that sound, so. We gotta be careful. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> forgot to do the most important thing, which is setting the seed. Almost forgot. That's why I didn't get a clay at that first spot. All right. We're ready. Yeah, as you can definitely tell, this run is going to be, or this first day at the very least, is going to be quite painful. But I like to think I have a bit of patience, so I think I should be able to pull it off. It might just take a few tries. Okay, so steps. Three steps, grab the seeds, and we exit. All right, one piece of clay. And we'll kind of follow what we did last time. How far am I going to go into this run? So today, just day one. Day one's going to take forever. But I'm thinking of just doing, I don't know. I don't really know yet. Right now, I'm just going to try day one and go from there. See how fast I can unlock Skull Cavern, complete the Joja Center, because I will be doing the Joja route to unlock um like Ginger Island and everything as fast as possible. And then most likely it's just going to be a max amount of money during spring. Because after spring, it's just going to be planting the entire farm field with starfruit and kegging starfruit the whole time. So maybe during spring, I'll also like prepare for that, like make a... Uh, pepper farm set up and whatnot, but for now, this stream, we just got to get this first day done and over with, and then we'll go from there. So it looks like there's clay here and here. And then we got to make our way back 
to the left. I'm going to take a few steps here. Three steps. Until I get bored of it, yeah. Did I just start? Um, <laughs> you could say I just started because it's 6, 10 a.m., but I think I've already been doing this for an hour and a half, so yeah, we're, we're just getting started, sort of. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of doing. Consider using the Four Corners farm. You can get Day 2 Furnace that way. Um, So I'm actually going to get Day 2 Furnace by... Um, buying copper ore from Clint, and also opening a geode I get from a trash can. The geode I get from the trash can and the seed will get me 20 copper ore, and then we'll have enough money to buy the rest of the 25 copper ore for the 5 copper bars. So, the reason I use a standard farm is because it has the most space, the most farmable tiles out of all the other farms, which will be best for the long run. But I... But the Four Corners farm, um... Little mine there, definitely a nice little addition. Still putting the face to the voice, yeah. The thing that's weird with my voice is I have to make it sound different for when I record the videos. When I'm streaming, this is kind of my normal voice. Not as exciting as I try to do for the recordings, but it is what it is. You saw the stream, didn't know you started an hour and a half ago, yeah. Yeah, for that first hour and a half, I was just basically getting the right seed, getting um, spring onions, making sure I had spring onions down there, and kind of planning. So anyway, we're at six steps. We're at three dirt tilled. So I'm going to mine that rock and till that clay. And we can till clay there and go one more. Okay, got some clay. I don't like this trash can. It makes me think I'm taking steps when I'm really not very confusing, but I have to live with it. Okay, I'm gonna make my way over to the left. I'm gonna take a few steps here. Four steps. Let's put us at a nice even 10. Okay. I know I said most of the rocks I want to mine that will give me coal, but the ones like near here where I'll probably plant um plant seeds that I will mine and get out of the way. If you notice there I just accidentally swung my pickaxe and didn't hit the tiles, so that's a really big mistake. Gotta restart the day over just kidding, I'm not gonna restart the day over that, but still gotta be careful about that. Don't want to un do unintended tool uses. But anyway, there should be a clay right here. And then a couple more going up. And then I want to continue making my way towards the left side here. Yeah, 
can't wait till you're finished with every math class. I'm the opposite. I was sad when I was done with math classes. Math was my favorite. But everybody's definitely got their own subjects they like more than others. All right. So we're going to till I believe it's this one. And this one. And then we should get another there. Okay. Um, the next one is underneath the one we already tilled here. I wish you understood what's happening. Oh, it's pretty simple right now. Basically, just clay farming here. Um, at some point, we'll have to... Basically, first day, here's the goals. Making as much money as possible from clay farming. We also need to reach level 1 foraging. But that should be doable by grabbing some forageables and then just a couple of trees. We need to buy 25 copper ore and open that geode from Clint, collect all of the trash from the trash cans, um, buy the pack upgrade. Before we can do that, we need to sell clay to Robin, so we do need to collect enough clay to sell for that. So basically 2,000 for the pack upgrade, copper ore is 25 a piece, or 75 times 25 is 1875 plus 25 for opening a geode plus 2000 for the pack upgrade. And then it would be nice to buy a couple of coffees. I'll probably buy hmm, I'm thinking Here, here's the hard part. There's a Pepper Poppers waiting in the trash can for us, right outside the saloon. But there's also two Pepper Poppers inside of the saloon that we want to buy. And Pepper Poppers are really good because not only they give us plus one speed, but they also give us like plus one or something farming, which lowers the like increased farming level, lowers the amount of energy the hoe uses. So it saves us quite a bit of energy there. So I don't know if it's more worth it to grab that first pepper poppers, then go up to Robin's, clay farm outside Robin's for a while, sell all of our clay, and then go back to the saloon, buy the pepper poppers. I don't know. We'll see. The, the hard deadline is getting to Clint's before 4 o'clock. Like, that's the really the only deadline we have to watch out for. But getting the like 4000 G is pretty easy. We'll only need 200 clay, which we'll get to pretty quickly. How'd you calculate how many steps? Um, let me pull it up real quick because it shouldn't take too long to show, but here's the spreadsheet. This is um, by Cordite, he made this spreadsheet. Basically, you put in your game seed here. There's a whole bunch of other variables you have to account for, like NPCs, met, and other stuff. But basically, by following the directions here, putting in your game seed, and I'm putting in that I've already taken 200 steps so that it shows me like some future ones, we can see at 311 steps, the next day I will get the maximum daily luck and 13 spicy eels being sold at the saloon. So that's what we're aiming for. So it seems a little complicated, but it's, it's not that bad. Counting steps is a little bit tedious, but we're going all out on this one. So anyway, back to clay farming. And every once in a while, it's nice to take a screenshot here. And then 
I have to move a little bit. But I go to File in the Map Predictor, Open, or Upload Map, and then upload the most recent screenshot, and we can see um, what else is here. So <laughs> statistics class professors are. Hey, this might this might surprise you even more, but I do enjoy myself some statistics. I do like statistics and probability quite a bit. All right. Anyway, we need to chop a couple trees here. Let's head this way. Honestly, I'm just getting rid of this grass here because it makes that weird noise that confuses me and makes me think that I'm taking steps, so... I think it's better to just get rid of it altogether. And I'm not going to chop the saplings because I would like to make some space over here, but chopping the saplings isn't worth the time. The stones we can clear quickly though. So anyway, the next diggable clay is kind of in the middle of these weeds over here. And that was not a step. That's just the grass making noise, which is what terrifies me. Because I think I'm taking steps, but I'm in reality not. It's just counted as the same um, noise as steps for some reason. And again, that right there, it was the grass. And I hate that it sounds so similar to the steps. But anyway... Right. Ah, there. It's so hard to line up these tiles sometimes. And as you can tell, I haven't zoomed all the way out yet. Honestly, I should do my April Fool strategy and zoom in. It'll help, but that's okay. Looking at me more, definitely play guitar at like an open mic night at a bar. Um, I don't know about that. Um, I play cello in an orchestra, but I mean, I have a guitar and I accidentally tilled the wrong clay tile there. That's okay. I just have to do this one over here. Okay. Next clay is to the left. A fellow cello fellow? Nice. Nice, Julius. And if you couldn't tell by my background, also I got the piano there. I do play piano. Now it's the next clay is like down to the right there. I need to rebind my inventory button to like middle mouse button, honestly. It's gonna take a while to get used to, but what if I did? Because right now my left hand I need to my left hand is on my W ASD and the E key is right there, but it's so hard to move diagonally and press the E button. So I'm thinking by putting it on something my right hand is on, I don't know if it's possible, but we're gonna find out. Um, okay. 
set. Uh, nope, it's not possible. Um, what about like? Hmm. Yeah, no, it's not taking middle key, which is sad. I mean, I could use my right hand on my keyboard. Maybe. Let me try. Yeah, my mouse has some. Let me get to the camera. It has some like side buttons, not like a whole bunch. It doesn't have like a whole number pad, but I'm a I don't think I can bind any of them. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. So, can I do, like... What wouldn't be bound to anything? Like, something on the number pad? Alright, we're doing the add button on the number pad. Because it's, like, right there. And we're going to gonna feel really awkward at first but I think it'll let me travel around a little bit smoother well here's the problem I need to be able to press somewhere so every time I use a tool I need to press the escape button now rather than the E button. And every time I am moving with my left hand, I need to press the plus button. I don't know. It might take a bit of getting used to. Like, I wish I could do it to... Like, I wish there was a way to do it both... Like, both... E and like a different button, but it looks like it defaults to escape. So what I can do is just take my right hand over to my E key. I don't know. We'll see. I'm overthinking things, but in a min-max run, that's kind of the point to overthink things like this, so. Anyway, where were we? All right, so the next clay is right here. And then there's one here. Oh, that one didn't have a clay. Yeah, sometimes the clay pattern breaks, but sometimes I just assume it keeps going, so that was a mistake on my part. We do have to click it one more time since we tilled that extra tile there. So... Sometimes I'm just going to have to really focus because it's a lot of, like, it's probably kind of funny watching me do this, just looking back and forth because I've got my map predictor on my other monitor over here, and obviously my main monitor right here is the, it's got the game, but it's a lot of looking back and forth here.
Oh no, it's okay to be off topic. I just will either accidentally not see something you say, perhaps, but I do try to look at everything you say, so it'll just make me look back even more, but that's okay. Um, okay, we need to go back over here. Which has not been tilled yet, so that's good. And I believe I can go up a few times. I'm step counting on the first day in order to get um, maximum luck on the next day for fishing treasure chests, because I'm thinking that I'm thinking that fishing day two and catfishing day three and then getting lucky with treasure chests will amount to more money than clay farming because you can get like diamonds and other minerals from treasure chests. So I'm thinking it might actually be a little bit better than clay farming, which is one reason I'm step counting. And then also I'll get... Um, I believe the saloon item is like 12 spicy eel or something ridiculous like that. But the saloon item might be determined by the dynamic seed. I'm not really sure. But anyway, getting the maximum daily luck tomorrow will at least set me up if I choose to do the fishing route for treasure chests. So we'll see. So I just dug up this tile, which means... The next one, we can dig this tile over here. Although after that tile, there's nothing more around there. So let's try to head more towards the left over here. Hello, Lee. Glad you could stop by the stream. Glad you can catch it live and glad you enjoyed the Min Max series. And Adam, um, don't you buy back the clay for garden pots? Um, let's well, way down the line. We don't even get the garden pot recipe until level 10. So right now the clay is for making money. They sell for 20 G a piece. So we've spent about two hours in the day. We've gotten 37 clay, which would be 740 G. So if we keep going at this pace by noon, we can get over like 2000 G just from clay farming, which it isn't the pace I was hoping for. Once we get like the pepper poppers and coffee, we'll go a little bit faster with the increased speed. But it's an okay start. So. We are gonna... Let's see, the next tile is this one. And we gotta go back this way. That tile's already dug down. Didn't you say you had cats? I... Yes, I do have two cats. Um, I grew up as a dog person, actually. My, um, my granny slash dad's house, they have, I think, 
five dogs there right now. At the um at one point they had seven dogs at once, but um th yeah th when I was growing up um definitely more of a dog person, but dogs wouldn't be realistic in like a like apartment sort of space. The end goal amount, so in terms of day one or just the whole run, but the whole run, um, I can answer real quick, I have no idea as much as possible, but day one, we need at least 2,000 for the pack upgrade, at least another about 2,000 for copper ore, and then as much more money as we can get for coffee and the pepper poppers at the saloon which I think are 400 G a piece so I'm hoping to get like at least 5,000 G before 4 o'clock when Clint's is closed but we'll see let me grab a quick screenshot and update the map predictor Sometimes I have to, sometimes it takes a little bit for the screenshot to render. While we wait, we can mine the next plate on the line. And then, all right, there we go. So let's start moving back this way. Hey dogs and people. Yeah, um yeah, they but, but so between my dad and because they because my dad lives with his mom um so that's yeah seven so like he has like like he technically owned like they're technically both like both of theirs now because they're they live together but yeah between them seven dogs and um they're all they're all decent sized dogs none of them would be considered small dogs um they're all like mutts, they're all mixes, none of them are like purebreds or anything. They're all like mixes, but um I'm trying to think. Um there was a point where my granny like dog sat like eleven dogs at once. Cause she was sitting for like two like one family's two dogs and then another family's two dogs, but she has like a huge yard, so like that's why she's able to have so many dogs. She has like a huge, huge yard. But anyway, fishing on the two and day three is going to be a pain. Compared to clay farming, I feel like fishing will actually be a little bit of a breather. Because clay farming takes like, I don't know, very long time. Fishing is like, sure, it's going to be dependent on some luck. But overall, I think... If we try, like, day two, like, a few times, I think we'll most likely get some pretty lucky treasure chests, because we'll have maximum daily luck. But like, yeah, we've already been here for about two hours, and we're at 8 a.m. on day one. And most likely, I'll have to restart this day. But hopefully not. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, no, fishing's definitely a lot of luck, but I think it'll equate to more money than clay farming. Again, I'm not too sure, but we'll see. So anyway, I wanted coal from this rock right here. 
So we gotta grab that at some point. And then I also need to chop a couple of trees, preferably these oak trees right here, to get, um, what's it called? Wood for a chest. So where am I right now? Okay, we can till this clay right here, I believe. And then I guess make our way to that coal. So I believe that was the rock with the coal. One of them were. Yep, we got a coal, so that's cool. And then to the left of that, there was a clay. Right now, I want to drop the tree here. All right, two, three, four. Oops, I chopped it too many times. I think it's. I thought it was. I thought it was twelve times, but I don't know. I think maybe it's nine. To, I don't know. I should probably count better. But anyways, the point is we don't need to chop the stump. We just want to chop the main part of it because it gets us the most wood. And also... Um, the most XP compared to what the actual... Hmm... Now I'm trying to think if I want to grab the sap or the mixed seed. We'll probably have to come back. But we do need to chop a few more trees for wood. And now that I think of it, there is, let's see, tree felling. Some trees will get us two acorns, some trees will get us one, some trees will get us none. So, preferably we want to chop the oak trees that'll get us two acorns, although it's not necessarily worth it to go way out of our way for them. I'm not going to pay attention to that too much. I'd rather just chop the trees that are nearby. Okay, I think it's nine hits. Um, geode farming or diamond farming? Probably geode farming, because I'll use the predictor to get like treasure chests and stuff, and I think that ends up being better than diamond farming. Can't get any today. No acorns on the first day? Is there a... I didn't know that was a thing, but definitely believe you. So I guess we just want to chop however many trees it takes to get a chest. I don't even know if the chest is worth our time this first day. We're gonna... We're gonna want foraging level 1, which will probably require a few trees chopped, but we're gonna get the pack upgrade. But I'm just in case, I'm going to chop a couple more trees, make the chest so we can get rid of some of this junk we don't need. Finally, ride on your motorbike. Oh, that's cool. You got a motorcycle. Nice. Mom wouldn't let you ride it because you recently. You recently got ran over? That doesn't sound good. Are you okay? You have to be level 1 foraging to get seeds. Okay, that's good to know. I did not know that. I don't know if I should pick up the sap or... Honestly, sap's probably the least useful item from the trees.
Well, how? What do you mean by? What do you mean by getting ran over? Because that sounds pretty bad. I don't know. Okay, and while we're we should be looking for clay at the same time. That was not a step, that was just the annoying grass making its noise. Okay. We have enough wood. When there's a parking lot, okay. There's a parking lot, there's a sidewalk, and to get into the parking lot, there's a dip in the sidewalk. Um, kind of. Keep going. I, I can't exactly picture what you're talking about, but sort of get the idea. Okay, so... I don't think there's any reason to bring the pickaxe. Okay, I obviously don't need the watering can. Probably don't want the axe. Probably should keep the pickaxe just in case for untilling if we need to, or st stones with coal along the way. We'll be getting more clay, don't want the wood. And then we will be probably getting more mixed seeds, but we can keep them here for now. Okay. So. I think there's a clay on this tile right here. And look at that. Just the... We got a nice little area for planting seeds now. Just from clay farming. So I'm going to do a little bit more clay farming here and then go down to Cinder Sap Forest. Actually, we should go now. We're at 30 energy and we're probably going to do a little bit as we go along the way. So let's start journeying down that way now. Yeah, basically I think the limiting factor on how much you can clay farm at the on the farm at first comes down to your energy. Um, I should probably take some more steps. I like to not worry about that until like later, but it might be worth it to. Oops, accidentally used the hoe instead of the scythe there. But I do want to look for clay along my way here and it looks like there's some clay if we start going a little bit to the left and it would be below this tree and that was not a step that was the grass Alright, so we're going to hear the grass, but again, we're not taking any steps here. The grass is just making noise and fooling us. And I accidentally used the hoe again, so let's click the tilde one more time. And then now that we're down here, let's go into stone mode. Actually, I think there's clay right there. 
So you're going through I'll I'll read what you said in one moment once I get down to checking for spring onions cuz that'll well, actually cuz I'll have to count steps. So I'll I'll just read what you said now. Um So you're going through the sidewalk dip thing and someone was coming into the parking lot and didn't see you, so you got hit. Well, I'm glad you're okay. To cross over, you have to walk through that dip. Got it. Oh, wait, so you weren't even on your bike. You were walking. Is that correct? Okay, let's grab stones here. It doesn't look like there's any coal we can get down here. That's okay. There's one right there, but it's a little out of the way. Let's go back to tilling mode. And we are starting to run out of energy. So that's expected. Okay, I took a step there. That's why I have only the step volume on, so when I do accidentally take steps like that, I can be aware of it. Do you have a fast animation cancel for when I'm walking? I do not. I did see... Um, I did see Blade use that in his videos, but I'm not really... I couldn't figure out how to do that. I don't know if it's like... Like, he had his hoe, and I don't know if he was using, like, a script or what he was using for that, so... If you have the resource on to, like, a guide to how to use that, I'll definitely look into it. Um, for right now, if it's something like... If it's quick, I'll, I'll look into it, but... Um, if it takes some doing, like, setting up and stuff, then... I'll use it in the future, but for now... I'm not really sure how to do that. Okay, so we're going down to forest. I'm going to change the map to Cinderset Forest, which would be forest. It looks like there's a nice piece of clay here for us. Alright, I'm going to take a few steps now. Five steps. It looks like there's a clay right underneath the sign. Um, I have an auto hotkey script running where if I press my space bar, it'll do the animation canceling for a tool use, basically. So I'm not really sure what the, like, current tech meta is for animation canceling stuff, but that's, that's basically what I'm using, a auto hotkey key script that basically when I press spacebar, it'll use the tool and then wait like a frame and then press like the delete key and whatever other keys are associated with the cancel and then, and then like wait for the correct amount of frames and then, um, yeah, basically. That's from what I could understand from it. And did I hold the wrong tile there? It looks like I can't hold that tile, so it's a mistake on my part.
we gotta start heading down. Let's grab those spring onions. And let's take a screenshot here. See what other forgeables we can grab. This will probably be the only time we Hard to have a one size fits all macro for animation canceling since many tools have different animation. Yeah, definitely. The one I'm using now, um, I changed the frames to be perfect for the hoe for clay farming. So I don't know. It seems to work for the pickaxe and axe. My guess is that the hoe animation is the longest. So technically, I could be saving a little bit more time with the axe and the pickaxe. But basically, I think the hoe takes the longest, so I have to center it around the hoe, unless I want to do different ones for each, which... Okay, so for a fast one, you just set the waiting ticks for shorter. Okay, that... I think that kind of makes sense. I... I kind of see what you're saying. Um, when, I, when I tried it out, like I tried to replicate it, I couldn't get it to work. So I'll, I'll look into it again later. But for now, we're going to we're going to keep going with this day since I came this far already. But let's see, you think people who do the fastest animation canceling are doing it by semi manually doing a normal mouse slash c and put in using a macro to do the animation cancel set okay that makes sense like manually do it and then pressing a button to cancel it no that, that makes sense um for now i since we're gonna be mainly play farming i have the the wait time centered around the hoe so it should be okay for what we're doing here So the hose should be pretty, pretty good, but the, the walking I'll, I'll have to look into later. But anyway, um, moral of your story, just drive a car, don't get your motor cycle license. Um, what else? Did you... you did get hurt from it. Yeah, no, I, I've witnessed a couple bike accidents. They're definitely not fun and a lot of danger and stuff involved in that, but they do seem enjoyable if you're safe with them or whatever. Okay, so we don't have any energy left. We can grab this dandelion here. And then go down to spring onions. I took one step there. Oh, I didn't know driver's license, motorcycle license were... Well, I knew they were separate, but I thought that a motorcycle license would be, like, more involved and more technical than having a, like, just a regular motor driver's license, so... Because I, I think operating a bike would be a lot more difficult. I mean, I don't know anything about it, but it seems like it. All right, let's... Grab back the play farm. Um, why did that tile not work? All right, let's see. I did. Okay, I see. I hold this one that was up there. So I should have pressed this. I didn't. And now since I hold that one, I press it one more time and now we're back on track. 
Okay. So let me upload that screenshot here. It looks like we've got that wild horseradish there. I don't know if that dandelion's worth it or not. This wild horseradish is definitely not worth it. We'll grab the spring onions here. Maybe grab a little more clay along the way. Dandelions restore 25 energy, so... I'm not really sure if it's worth it to go all the way over there, but... Yeah, I guess we might as well. So we'll grab the dandelion here, and then the spring onions. And then of course that wild horseradish as well. And we'll use this time, because we need to do 311 steps. We'll count some steps, so this is the part I need to focus. 7, 8. Just use auto hotkey to run a script. It's easier than manual for animation canceling. Seven puts us at twenty-four. We're at six. Oh, and also if we um back to fishing tomorrow, if we fish with bubbles, the bubbles I think we'll make fishing um, better than clay farming. Eighteen. Step counting can be kind of scary. Sounds like I'm making excuses not the clay farm. Well, I don't know. Clay farming, honestly, isn't... It's not like it's not... Like, I don't mind doing it, but... I feel like clay farming is kind of what everybody has been doing the first couple of days. I feel like maybe, maybe, just maybe fishing can be better with the four times rate from the bubbles maximum daily luck i think maybe just maybe it can make us more money we'll see it's worth it's worth trying at the very least so but anyway to get that maximum daily luck i gotta count these steps five Um, so, so when I run out of steps, um, we don't have to worry about that because moving like this, I'm not actually taking any steps. The game only counts it as a step when it makes the step noise is how you know. Like you have to walk a certain amount, like your character has to actually physically move a certain amount. So... Essentially, we want to take as many steps as we can early on, so we're not like having to hustle to take a whole bunch of last minute steps at the end of the day. So it's better to get them out of the way now, in my opinion at least.
Okay. Honestly, selling a wild horseradish is more worth it, I'm pretty sure, but that would involve going into piers, which I don't know if it's worth it or not. Okay, spring onions. And also, there's a piece of clay we can grab along the way. Okay, gotta keep counting steps. That's eight. Yeah, I mean, there's no guaranteeing I'm even being accurate right now. Worst case scenario, when I end this day, and we're wrong, I try again. Obviously, a different day, though, because I'll be a little bit burnt out by that point. But hopefully, we'll see. Choose a girl for the... Yeah, my dad sends me 500G early on, so just getting that little bit of bonus is why I chose being a girl. Only matters for speed runs, like the the bonus money, or oops, I used my pickaxe. Um, I don't know why I can't dig up that tile. Strange, I. Animation canceling should be set to the correct amount of frames. If you're hungry, we're gonna have a piano string. Uh, but yeah, even the. Oh, that's not a tile. You can okay. Yeah, I was afraid it was there. Something was going wrong with the animation canceling, but I guess that's not actually a tile. I can hope. So. We can hold this one, I think. Yep. And then... Okay. I'm not taking steps right now. I'm moving through the spring onions. Hopefully. I'm pretty confident we're moving. We're forging level one, so that's good. I'm pretty confident that we didn't take any steps there because the spring onions are kind of like the grass where they make that noise, so. Pretty, like, that's something that's a little bit scary about the step counting. But hopefully, 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 they're not reset for more spring onions. I reset maybe 30 times, and 11 was the most I was able to get. I know you can get up to like 20, but it was taking a bit too long, and I was kind of determined to get um, going with the stream, because... When I was resetting, I was getting like maybe one or two or three. So 11 was a decent amount for me, honestly. I, I don't know if that one's diggable, so we can just start making our way back up this way. I'm going to count some steps here. Six. But at the very least, if I am wrong on the steps, this is good practice. 
and on my own time I can keep resetting and get a seed with 20 spring onions or it's the same seed but you know what I mean like get it to reset to that and then do even better but for now we're gonna try to go on with this first day and see what happens if I were to do a piano stream play golden hour I would have thrown my phone at the wall Will you throw your phone at the wall if I tell you I don't know what golden hour is? Because I don't. Um, we're doing fine on energy, so let's keep one step. Let's keep grabbing some clay. Now oh, that puts us at a nice even 80. Do one more clay right here. Golden shower. OMG, you're so lucky. I'm confused. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like, I wish I didn't know what that below mid song was. Okay, so I guess it's a good thing I don't know. All right, let's keep it that way then, I suppose. All right, let's do some steps here. Three. I'm counting the steps to get maximum daily luck tomorrow because my thought is that by fishing in bubbles and getting lots of treasure chests, I should be able to make more money than by clay farming the second day and third day because third day we can catfish as well. So, that's the thought. Okay, we're at 85 steps. It's another five. Five. Let's take five more. Puts us at a nice five or um, one hundred. Okay. Ooh, is there any clay up here? Oh, there is one clay that I could have grabbed. I'm sorry. Can I dig this tile right here? My Yes, we'll try. I need to get better at what tiles I can dig and what I cannot. Okay, I can dig that tile. Cool. That means we can also grab one here. All right, and then it looks like we can maybe grab one more here. And then courier, you say no, you can't. I can't. What? Are you talking about the fishing? Because getting, like, diamonds and stuff from the treasure chest is, like, 750G, which adds up quite a bit. Alright. Alright, to the saloon now. 
All right, Haley's going to be taking some steps here now. Oh, the tile? Oh, okay. You scared me for a moment there. I was like, oh, am I doing this for nothing? Has it already been proven that clay farming is always superior to fishing? But yeah, that one actually I could dig up, which is surprising. The one above it, I'm like positive you can't. The one below it, it it looked like you couldn't, but I definitely dug it up. So yeah, I guess it's just kind of learning over time which ones are diggable or not. I definitely don't know which ones are or not. That was just a guess, but I guess we got lucky there. Yeah, one diamond, 37 clay. So I'm thinking, especially with bubbles, fishing can amount to more money. Because diamonds aren't aren't crazy rare. Like in my first min-max run that I did, where I, like, at this point, I'd consider it almost like casual fishing that I did. I got a couple diamonds, I'm pretty sure, so we'll, we'll see. Um, let me take some steps here. Five steps. Okay. So, what's the plan? Plan is to clay farm along the way to the saloon. We got town here. Shoot, I don't remember if there was anything in these trash cans. I don't think there's a predictor trash can mode, is there? Yeah, 4 to 5%, so that's like, like every 20 to 25 treasure chests, which isn't bad at all. Like, you can probably get like 2 or 3 or 4 in a day without having to restart the day or try too many times. But we'll see. When the time comes, gotta get this first day under the belt first. So, shoot, I can't remember if there was anything in these trash cans. I don't think there was. And that was the sound of the trash can. I took one step there, even though I heard the trash can. Well, I know I took one step there just because I held the inventory out for a little bit too long. All right. Is there any good spots for clay here? On the way to the saloon? I don't think so. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit now. Um... Don't know if there's any clay worth our time here. We could dig um, one tile here and then get one here and here, I think. I don't know if it's worth it to go up there or just go straight to the saloon. I'm just gonna go straight to the saloon. And I'm not taking any steps myself just because of Leia over there making the noise. Alright, I'm gonna buy 
a coffee. I will have to come back here. I should be using the chairs. That's another thing that's like crazy overpowered chairs. So we'll get a, we'll come back for these pepper poppers. I'm going to start with a coffee to increase my speed and then come back later. But I think the speed boost from the coffee should pay off. Okay, I sat on the chair twice to make sure that it was the sound of the chair and not making a step. Did I take a step there? If anybody was paying attention in chat real quick, let me know if just there I took a step. I need to real quick look back and see if I took a step there because that could be trouble if I did. One sec. Was that a step? Oh, shoot. See, this is the trouble with counting steps here. But I think it may have been. Gotta yeah, listen closely. Yeah, that was... That had to be a step. Yeah, I watched the recording back, and there was definitely a step noise while I was talking. So... I'm like 90% sure it was a step. Again, <laughs> I'm optimistic. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to try again another time. But... Definitely have to be extremely careful with the counting steps here. But anyway, let's go up this way now. And we get a pepper poppers here. And that was not a step, that was the trash can. That was also the trash can. I'm going to eat the pepper poppers now because we will get a speed boost. I took a step there. And let's take two more to get at 110. Nice even number. Yeah, I'm going to take a screenshot real quick so that I can make sure I get all of the forgeables here. I'm also going to take a couple more steps here. One second. Ten, as you can see. With our speed boosts, the steps go quite a bit faster. But anyway, let me load in that screenshot, the map predictor. There is a dandelion over there, but it's not worth it because it can't give us any energy. I took one step there. I took another step there. 
And I'll take three more steps real quick. If you don't know that boy is a liar part two, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ice Spice Pink Pantheris. No, don't think I don't think I've ever heard of any of that, but I don't know. All right, let's go for 10 steps. That was 10 steps. The last one you heard was trash can. I don't like the trash can, it scares me. It's almost as crazy as when we were talking in the Discord and you didn't know Rihanna, I was, okay, I. To be fair, I've heard of Rihanna, but I honestly don't know any songs. L plus ratio RP. <laughs> Mr. Ploop 2000, or am I in engineering? I am in engineering. Computer engineering, actually. Uh, my last semester, gonna graduate in like a month. Oh, I should have been digging up clay along my way. I took one step there. Okay. All right, so. Let me load in, where are we right now? Uh, that's correct, Bagel. Basically, if we pause buffer, the steps don't count. They only count when they actually make a audible noise. Some of you are graduating mechanical in the month. Oh, nice, congratulations. That's pretty cool. Um, what am I doing again? Mountain. Mountain area is the one over here. Looks like there's some clay we can begin to dig up. We took one step there. Let me make note of that. And there's a couple of leaks we should probably grab here. Hmm. When we return to the farm, we'll probably go back by the bus stop because I know there's three leaks over there. Imagine saying L. I don't even know what that means if I'm being honest. All right, so where was I? So much to keep track of, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, I was gonna load in my screenshot. I need an artifact doted and donated in order to get artifacts from treasure chests. Now, do I want artifacts from treasure chests? If I can't get artifacts from treasure chests, what I mean is like, will I be able to get like minerals more likely instead? Like, is that a good thing? Alright, we have two leaks, three leaks. 
three leaks up here. When was I born? 2000? I'm not too young or old, I think. Oh, we already dug up that tile. My bad. That's one step. And I was aimed there, but it dug up over there, so that's ouch. But let's um take note of that step here and then get back on the right track. Thanks for explaining it to me, Julius, because I had no idea. <laughs> Changing it to 1900. Yeah, I'm 122 years old. Uh, we have to keep an eye on the clock here. Alright, um, how many steps am I at? I'm at 38. Let's make that 40. And then... Let's see. Let's play there. I'm going to grab the leak over to the right over this way. Doesn't look like there's any clay along the way. Although if we get one tile here real quick, we can get one right here. And then another one down here. Five. That's one. That's five now. One plus four is five. How much clay am I? I'm at 80 clay times 20 a piece, 1600. Not really what I was looking. I was hoping at like, I was hoping for like 200 clay. Although we did spend some time chopping trees and other things around the farm as well. Also going to town. So we're not going to. We're not going to give up or restart yet. We're going to keep going and see what we can get to. The goal is... Let's see. For 10,000 G, it would be like 500 clay. We're going to... I mean, clay farming does go a lot faster at the beach, which is where we're going to be spending most of the day clay farming once we have our, like resources but until then oh i can sell the dandelions to pierre since we're gonna stop there for the pack upgrade all right leak up this way where am i at with my clay farming looks like Uh, 
Yeah, looks like there's no good clay we can grab. I'm gonna take three steps and then two more. That's 155. I'm going to update in just one second. Just want to have a nice even 10. Um, I will be grabbing the copper. The copper is going to be... I'm going to have to grab 25 at once, so I do need to sell to Robin first. So Robin's, I believe the latest we can leave is like 3... 10 or 20 to get to Clint's because we have the speed boosts, but we'll stop at Pierre's, I think. Um, so we, sh we should be good on time. As long as I'm leaving Robin's before 2.30, I think we're good. Now, okay, I got all the leaks. We can do a little bit of clay farming up by Linus here. And then is it gonna be, it's probably more worth it to go down from the tree to the top right of this grass here. Well, I might as well buy all 25 today and that way I don't have to go to Clinch tomorrow. I know in, um, I know I've seen in other runs, um, they buy the rest tomorrow, but that would mean, like, I would have to, uh, like, the, like, the goal is to buy them today so I can start smelting them today, and that way, because I feel like going to buy them tomorrow, we would buy them and then have to smelt them and then go back to Clint's and... So basically getting all of the ores today would save us a trip, is how I'm thinking about it. And it should be theoretically possible. Ooh, Maru scared me there. I thought I'd walk the step there. But that was her. Can't smelt today. Oh, that's true. So, but what I'm thinking is tomorrow we're going to wake up at the farm. Once I'm at Robin's here, we'll probably, we'll move the shipping bin to make the, to until like most of the land. Obviously we'll keep some land for the seeds we plant. But still... I don't want to make two trips to Clint's tomorrow if I can avoid it. Is basically what I'm thinking. Where is the one marriage candidate you never see? Oh, that's because she was always at the clinic or inside her house, I think. Okay, let's. Start to make our way inside Robin. That sounded a bit wrong, but you get what I mean inside the carpenter's shop. But let's see if we can get any last chunks of clay here before we do so. Yeah, I will get a 
free a free 20 ore from a geode and then the rest we'll be able to afford so what did i say 102 times 20 is 2000 so we probably can't get the pack upgrade unless it's more worth it to get the pack upgrade is it that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking the 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 decision comes down to if we want to get the pack upgrade or buy the ores today seven so the copper ores are 75 g a piece we need 25 which is so it's 1875 but then plus 25 because we'll need to open a geode is 1900 g we have 200 g on us right now so subtract 200 from that amount is 1700 g and then if we add 2000 to that we need 3700 g to make this work let me real quick look up the sell price for dandelions Dandelions sell at, or no, not dandelions, I meant daffodils. Daffodils sell for 30 G, so that's 60 less G we need. Um, now that I realize that daffodils are kind of trash, they're 10 G more than clay. Clay sells for, clay is much more worth it, but whatever hello david glad you can make the stream but yeah adam i'm i'm thinking you might be right on getting the copper ore tomorrow it would be nice to get it all today but i don't know if it's realistic Because I think it's more worth it to get the pack upgrade today. Because we're going to have some other things that we want to put in our inventory here. And we would need... Let's see, 102 times 20 is 2,040. We would need 1,600 more clay. Or not, not 16, 1,600 more G divided by 20 is 80 more clay. 80 more clay would be doable if we didn't chop trees and like prep the farm. So... Hello, the underscore. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm I'm almost regretting making the chest earlier today because chopping those trees took quite a bit of energy and time doing so. So I am wondering if, like, I'm I'm definitely gonna finish out this day. In worst case scenario, I keep this day, just in case I can't get a better day, but. But yeah, definitely, definitely probably didn't need to chop the trees because we're doing a lot of, like there's a, the seed gets us a lot of forageables. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to get the pack upgrade today. I won't be able to get the copper ore. I'll have to. I'm going to use the money on coffees, and then, of course, I need the 800G for the two pepper poppers. Almost forgot about that. So, so yeah, I think that's definitely going to be the move here. 
Linus is making those footstep sounds. Definitely, prob probably the oxymoron. Well, it's part of my vocabulary now. Nope, oh, that was the end of the clay pattern there. That's okay. All right, so <laughs> yeah, it does sound like he's making some wild bait. Yeah, no, I'm definitely getting at least one copper ore, and that's going to be from opening a geode. So I'm definitely going to still go to Clint's before 4 o'clock. I'm just thinking... I don't remember what was in the backwoods here. I don't know if there's any forgeables to grab right now or not. I don't think it's worth the time right now, so we're gonna... I think there might be a few leaks, but we can get them, like, the forgeables won't be going anywhere. Um, no, the predictor is not covering my game, that's uh, the stream overlay. So, I've got it on my second monitor, basically, which is why I'm, like, looking back and forth. All right, so let's try to get, I, I think we can push it just a little bit further. Let's get a few more pieces of play here, but no later than 2.30 to be safe. Yeah, no, thanks for thanks for double checking, Adam. I'm aware that um I gotta throw it out of my inventory and pick it back up. Alright, what time is it? Almost two thirty. That was one step. Um, all right, there's no good, well, let's see, we can do one more line of play here. That also sounds Interesting, doing a line of play real quick. All right. One more clay up there. That was one more step I just made. Looks like there were two leaks in the backwoods. Okay. That is good to know. The optimal thing would be is if we, like, traveled to Robin's shop, going through the backwoods. <laughs> Got confused for a second. I was like, 2.30 or time, where are you in Hawaii? <laughs> nah. Right now it is 7.15 my time. Alrighty, let's... If I dug up that one, right? That was one step right there. Oh yeah, the shirt. <laughs> Maybe I am in Hawaii for all, for all you know. And of course we time it perfectly so Demetrius is in our way. 
Okay. We met Demetrius. Um, the geode from a trash can. All right, thanks Demetrius for wasting our time there. I gotta get out before he beats us to it. Um, definitely could get some geode from the farm rocks, I I think, but I I end up getting it from a trash can. So I'm curious, real quick. We met Demetrius. I believe all this affects. I just want to show this off real quick. I'm pretty sure all this affects is getting gifts in the mail from the NPCs from here. I don't think it affects the daily luck or rain or anything. But I just wanted to show this off here that um, it is good to update this if we will be using the predictor here. Central time for chumps EST all the way. Everybody's in different time zones, I bet. But anyway, are you doing dynamic seeds or I am dynamic seeding? So I so the trash cans are from the dynamic seed. Um, I'm using the same seeds that Blade used in his video where he married Penny as soon as possible, just because of all the energy restoring items that we'll get for free. So I wasn't sure if there was a better one. I just that was the best one I could find, and without doing too much research. Okay, so we need to make it down to gears. And hopefully grab some clay along the way. Let me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, chat's delayed, so I bet in just like a few seconds everybody's gonna start being like, you forgot to switch it back to the game. So I apologize for that, but it's switched back now. So. Actually, that, that would be interesting. Um. I'm curious what the delay is, so I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. When I say go, say some, I don't know, somebody say like go in the chat, I don't know, so let, let's try it again starting from now. Three, two, one, go, and just say go in the chat, all right? Because I bet there's quite a, because I have the, I have it set to try to be best connection because I think that's better than like chat being super up to the date with the stream, but we'll see. Okay, so about like 20 to 30, okay, 20 to 30 seconds it seems like it is. So a bit of a delay there, but that's okay. <laughs> Still getting the goes in the chat. Well, I guess it technically might be different for everybody as well, but it seems about like 30 seconds, half of a minute. Alrighty. So there is some clay we can get along the way. I'm at 163 steps, so let's do seven steps. The steps go really fast. With our double speed boost here. You know, I never would have thought it would be possible to, oh, our double speed boost is gone because coffee lasts a very short amount of time, but I would have never thought I'd be able to get the double speed stacking going on the first day. It's crazy how far the min-max runs and whatnot has come. All right, let's do five steps. All 
and another five steps and then I'll update the thing. That makes 10. Back to the map predictor here. Um, okay, I dug up that one, so I have to I think I can dig up this tile. Ah. Nope. Can't dig up that tile. I hate these tiles that you can't dig up that's so ambiguous. Alright, let's do 10 steps. Okay, another 10 steps appears. Okay. You can use piano addicts, see they're using for a hundred million. Yeah, I definitely, um, I considered using that seed, but I, I don't, is Piano Attic doing dynamic seeding and whatnot? I just thought this seed was better because it gives all of these leaks, and the leaks will get us to level 1 foraging without having to chop many trees and also help with um, energy restoring for free. I know that his seed had like a ridiculous amount of pepper poppers from the soon, like 10 or 11. But those are 400 G a piece, and I don't know if we'll have that much money to buy on the first day, so I don't know if it's worth it or not. Just the two pepper poppers seems fine to me. You think he's single seeding? Okay. Um, yeah, the one thing... The one thing that... With Piano Addict Seed is he probably considered um, like more down the line like special orders quests and um, volcano enchantment stuff like that. I haven't really considered that because this runs mainly just for spring but that is definitely something to consider and think about but I know his seed, I did load it up, I did take a look around, and there weren't many forgeables, and there definitely wasn't as many things from the trash can, so that's why I went with Blade Seed. Basically, um, at the first part of the stream, if you go back there at some point, or I'll make it in my, when I make a video on this, I'll try to give a nice explanation of it, but it's, um, It's like, it's like changing the seed every day by going into the new, say, bye-bye. Okay, if you want to go check it out, that's, oh, you're doing your homework now. But yeah, you can, I'll explain it better once I understand it more. Focus more on the mines. Um, but if he's not doing dynamic seeding, in Piano Addicts, I think the mine floors can be dynamically seeded, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think that, like, the ladders and the geodes locations, I think that would be affected by the the dynamic seed. Or is it, or am I wrong? Uh, I don't know. That'll have to be something to be considered. Alright, we got the pack upgrade.
Okay. We have time to get to Clunks. Yeah, I'm not exactly... So basically, here's the best way I can explain it. I created the game file with a certain seed, and that seed determined all of the forgeables, like the leaks and all of that stuff. And I think some other things, but when I checked the trash cans, there weren't anything in the trash cans except for one pepper poppers from the slewed saloon so i exited the game i kept that save file but i went into new game went into the more seed options i put in a different seed backed out loaded this game so now the game is tricked into using this new seed to determine like some random stuff like the trash cans and now i got all of these items from the trash cans so so basically Whatever seed piano is using, um, if the dynamic seeding does impact the like the mine floors, then then maybe it'll work for that. I don't know. We'll we'll see. But anyway, I need to get to Clint's. Trash cans are seeded, but can also change based on daily luck. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, let's check for some clay. Actually, let's get the clinch before he closes. Now, Mayor Lewis's trash can has a field snack in it, which is part of why I chose the seed as well. I just took one step there. The trash can made a noise, but I only took one step there. Alright, and let's take some steps here. That's nine. Make it a nice 210. So another 10. And... It's like mm. oh, I'm gonna be mad if I can't dig up this tile. Okay, we can dig up that tile. Cool. All right. Ooh, we're cutting it close. All right, five more steps. We're cutting it very close. But here's another big part of this seed and why I think it's good. That was four. We got the geode there. I'm gonna take one more step. That should put us at 230. And oh, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be hard if we can't get there in time. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna just, Go straight there. Thirteen steps. Oof, that was almost had a heart skipped a few beats there. Um, two hundred thirty plus thirteen is two hundred and forty-three. Let's take two steps now. Oh shoot! Was that two steps or three steps? I think it was two, but. 
I'm gonna go back and double check. If anybody is counting in chat, let me know. But I'm gonna, like that last couple steps inside of Clint's shop, I don't know if it was two or three. I think it was two. It'll be one moment trying to get to the right part of the stream. I think it was three steps, actually. Yeah, you're right, Julius. I, I heard, yeah, I just replayed it and definitely heard three. So, I'm gonna go with that. Hello, Pure Hrath. I'm doing all right. Just, um, kind of going crazy at this min-max run here with the, counting all the steps, but so far, it's going all right. All right, so, so this is the big thing with the seed. We open the geode, and we get 20 copper ore. That saves us 20 times 75, 1,500. That saves us 1,500 um, G, which is equivalent to 75 clay. So... It does save us quite a bit by using this seed with the 20 copper ore. And then... Is this a challenge or it'll be a full run? Um, this is... This is essentially... It'll be a full run, but this particular day I'm playing might not be my final one or not. I don't know yet. Um, the goal is to... Um, we've already got in copper, but I would have liked to get a little bit more clay, a little bit. I would have liked to have 800 G left over to buy both pepper poppers from the saloon. So that's my only like kind of big grudge right here. Um, you'll see that in a second. We'll go to, back to the saloon. There's going to be pepper poppers sold there. I really would have liked to get both of them. So most likely either on my own time or I'll do another stream another day where I try this day again. But to be fair, this is my first time attempting this run. I haven't really practiced at all. My, my practice was doing that April Fool's video, honestly, for clay farming. And then in my old run, clay farming for... Um, oh yeah, before I forget... You gotta throw the copper ore out of the inventory, pick it back up, and then we'll unlock the recipe tomorrow. Okay. So, I'm gonna take four more steps to get to a nice even 250. But yeah, really... At this point, getting a perfect, well, a perfect min-max run is impossible, but I'm trying to go all out on this one, so I'm willing to take multiple attempts to get this first day just right, because it'll set up the entire rest of the run, so. But who knows, maybe we'll end up setting ourselves up pretty good on this first day here. And I think I dug up that clay there and I forgot to tick this up there, so it should be accurate now. There should be a piece of clay we can dig up here. And then right there. Yeah, I wish yeah, this, this, I think this is the threshold. I think we needed to get just slightly more clay 
And to do that, we, like, early in the day, I cut some trees for a chest. I really didn't need to make that chest. Maybe. Remember, in either Blade or Habu stream, or Elk or one of them, you don't actually have to throw out the copper to get the furnace. Um, yeah, I have, I have no idea. I'll have to test that as well, but just to be safe, it doesn't hurt to do so, I guess. Um, yeah, so 800 minus 650, we were like 7 to 8 play short. Um, yeah, the, the one other thing is donating something to get a little extra money, but it's not really worth it. And we um maybe I can't dig up this tile right here. I'm gonna assume so. Let's take five more steps or ten or whatever gets us over here. That was ten. Yeah, and I'd like to figure out, um, like, buffering, um, what's it called? Animation walk canceling or whatever you call it. I don't know if that actually saves time or just is easier than freezing and unfreezing the game. I'm not too sure, but I definitely remember Blade doing it in his... Penny challenge, so that would probably be good to learn. But let's head back to the saloon. Um Here's here's my thought right now. We can head back to the saloon now and grab the pepper poppers. Or we can save a little bit of time walking by going to the beach now, getting back to the saloon before it closes at 12 a.m. Oh, shoot. Actually, close that off there. Um, because the pepper poppers here will last us another four minutes and 18 seconds. So we could grab another. It's really hard to say what's going to be better. And it would have been nice to get another coffee. But... I guess we have enough energy restoring items where we'll come back to the saloon for the pepper poppers. Again, I'm probably going to have to end up redoing this day. I want to finish it out just to see kind of some benchmarks of what I need to like go above or at how much money I need at what certain time. So let's, let's go ahead and play farm to see how much more clay we can make on the beach and we'll go from there. And of course, Lewis is here to not let us easily count steps. But the beach is definitely going to be the place to clay farm the quickest. All right. 
righty. Um, I must have upset the pattern at some point. So most likely, let's go back to the town and see what went wrong. So I must have dug up that place, which means I would be one ahead. Because I remember trying to dig up this tile, but couldn't. So I'm pretty sure I dug up that tile. So I'm one ahead. Now we're back at the beach. And I tried to dig up this one. And was unsuccessful. So now I'm one ahead. And we should, hopefully, theoretically, find clay right there. And we do. Okay. We're back on track. I'm pretty sure this tile is horrible. Nope, it is not horrible. That is my mistake. Um, I think this one is? Nope, it is not. Alright, so we have to be wary that a lot of these tiles are not actually... But in order to save the most amount of time, I'm going to just dig a random space here, which puts it forward, and we can resume the pattern right here. And then above this one, I'm pretty sure. All right, cool. And we got to make our way this way. Now above the thing. I definitely can improve on my pausing. Definitely not pausing frame perfect here, so that's definitely an area that I can get better at. And what's tough is finding where's the best place to resume the pattern. So like, I guess, Down this way is the closest. Oh, I accidentally pressed down. We need to eat something. We'll go ahead and start with because i know i'm going to use all of it so let's start with the cookies which give us the most energy out of everything else and also i'd rather keep on hand stuff that stack together especially like the spring onions where we can use them at the end of the day where we just want to just a teeny bit of energy to get us our last few clay deposits or whatever And I needed to go one up. That was the wrong tile. Oh, I did the wrong one again. It's so hard to see those little shells in the sand there. Let's zoom in a little bit. I think that should be good. Who knew that zooming would actually come in handy? Oh, I keep hitting the wrong tile here. Okay, let's get back on track. That's the one thing that's tough about the beach is once we like once we get the patterns going, it's a little bit easier, but at the start here, since all of the tiles are like not tilled up yet, it's kind of hard to get some reference points going. So 
but once we get going, it shouldn't be as hard. And where is next? All right, there's good. And go one, two. And by the boat here. Then over here. Dimitri, very nice. You can finally connect again. Nice to see you. Nice to hear from you. All right, so this tile right here should have play. One, two. Yeah, this is the definitely the least exciting part of play farming. Especially considering the fact that we're step counting and have to keep pausing, but even then I would already be pausing the game a whole bunch because I'm using the map predictor here, so. It's all right. Um, again, I'm going all out on this one. <laughs> um, does buff timer go down while paused, or only fish? Only when you're fishing. Um, or else that would be awful. <laughs> but no, it, it 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 does pause when we're when we're paused. That would be scary if it did. Six hundred fifty-five G. So I I used two thousand G for the pack upgrade. That's where most of the money went. Um, most likely I'm gonna finish out this day. Most likely, um, I had to, I, so I had to spend twenty-five on a opening a geode for the twenty copper ore I got here, but. What would have been really nice is to have at least 800 G left over because the pepper poppers are 400 D G a peach. So after I'm done at the beach here, I'm going to try to get to the saloon before 12 a.m. to get one pepper poppers on the way back to the farm because we're going to need to plant the seeds. Oh, shoot. I forgot to I forgot to mow the lawn. I forgot to pick up the shipping bin at Robin's and until all of the land on the farm, which I'm not, again, I'm going to finish out this day. Most likely there's a lot of things I'm going to have to improve on this first day. This was, this is the practice, but, but yeah, that's definitely something I need to remember. Hello. I am Jibu. Glad you can make the stream. Thankful for my min max guide. Well, I'm thankful for you watching it. Glad you enjoyed it. But yeah, no, the min the first min max guide. If anything, it's it was a good um kind of casual introduction for min maxing to me at least. Bagel says it'll be interesting to see how you're gonna edit this. So it isn't just a menu on the screen the whole time. So yeah, funny you mentioned that. Um, most likely, as I'm saying, I'm gonna redo this day in order to. So in order to min max, I don't think I can stream at the same time. I think I need to just full out focus on clay farming, 
my plan is to record the whole thing maybe on a second channel upload the raw footage so that i can have like some sort of proof of the run and then i'll take that footage and use it for my videos because also um it brings up another point if anybody in chat happens to know a way in obs on how to because right now i've got the stream overlays i've got the um i've got my face going i've got the steps here i've got um the map predictor i've tried using a second instance of obs to record just the raw gameplay footage i've tried using plugins but nothing seems to work not sure why but i've tried like everything at this point but anyway i think ultimately i am gonna have to redo this day anyway so um but yeah no it'll it'll be interesting to because even then i'll be pausing a lot so it'll be interesting to edit it for sure it, it won't be it won't be fun it'll be a lot of a lot of tedious work but that's okay anyway back to the game here where did we leave off We can dig up this tile down here, and then probably that one, yep. And we'll go back down this way. And... I could dig up that tile, but it's already tilled. Next one, I could go up this way, and then after that, yeah, sometimes it's good to look a couple spaces ahead to see where the clay will line up next. Let's go down this way. I probably shouldn't have one for this one because the next clay is going to be on top of the undiggable pile. And I accidentally did the wrong one there, but that's okay. Oh, and while we're here, it doesn't hurt to grab the beach forgeables. Oof. All right. Now we don't want to go too far to the right because the clay pattern, of course, starts at the left and works its way towards the right. So let's go. I think here. Nope. It's under the blue starfish. There we go. Now we go up just a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, no. The, the one thing that I'm excited for about this run is hopefully day one's the only day I'm doing clay farming. Because I'm, I'm fairly confident now, based on the seeds I'm using, to get, like, bubbles the whole day of day two fishing and the maximum daily luck we should make way more money by fishing and getting treasure chests than we would have with clay farming so one step <laughs> gotta look out for those but yeah for sure this is going to be the most painful part of the run i think I don't know what's yet to come, but we'll see.
Definitely wouldn't hurt me to practice clay farming a little bit as well. So I'm definitely... Oh, what went wrong there? So I dug up that one and did not get anything. I dug up this one. Right? Hmm, that's strange. Did I accidentally dig up another tile, or were those already there? Either way... I think the best thing... Hmm, to do is probably assume that I accidentally dug up a space, and then skip one forward. Okay, most likely when I click back into the game, I'm going to end up eating the spring onion. I don't think there's any way around that. Oh, nope, I didn't. Okay, we're safe. All right. Yeah, it's always a little bit scary when you think your play pattern is broken, but if you take a step back, look at the predictor, and skip ahead a few things, like I did there, like I was confused about that, it's always better to... Just skip ahead a few tiles, and then you can make up for the accidental ones you may have tilled. And now we're back on track. That one, it looks like we need some more energy soon. We still got a good amount of time left in the day, so let's go ahead and eat the field snack. And then... Not many good locations right now. I guess the best thing would be to go down to this one right here. Elliot's coming home. Oh, what was I doing there? Um, let's go back this way. We should be able to follow the pattern. Oh, it looks like we already dug up those two tiles there, so we have to find one here. And I gotta, so yeah, that's the one thing I need to learn is the tiles that are untillable. Should probably start making my way more towards the left where we have a little more space to work with. We're doing pretty decent on the beach here. I would have liked to make some more money to get some more coffee and an additional pepper poppers, but that's okay. Again, I'm probably going to try this run again. But I definitely need to practice right now. This will certainly give me a good baseline to go off of. So I'm pretty sure below the... Oh, actually, I think we can take that tile. It's so hard to tell what tiles are capable and which ones aren't. But we'll learn over time.
Looks like it's almost time to eat another food item. Uh, let's make our way this way. Um, let's eat the gold star leak. The gold items are always better to consume than normal quality and lower quality. And of course, we still have enough time left in the day to get the full energy amount out of it. Oh, I keep finding myself going all the way over to the right here, but I should really make my way more over to the left for a little more space. Uh oh, what just happened? Um, should be good. Down by the starfish here. Let's make our way this way. Um, I've already dug that tile. Have I dug this one? Yes. Okay. We need to, we need to make our way to the right now to get another clay. Of course, the clay pattern keeps drawing us back over towards the right. Okay, pretty sure this tile right here is not tillable. So let's go over this way. Um, this one right here is fine. Yeah, you can already tell we're making a lot more clay faster right now than we were earlier in the day. Feels that way at least. One step. I'll take note of that. Almost there. Almost there, but only be the beginning for me because I'm definitely going to redo this day on my own. Wrong tile. Uh, I think we can dig right here. No. All right, let's. Okay, I just dug this one, but there was no clay. So what I think is usually safe to do is skip forward by two clay tiles and now resume the pattern from there. And if this doesn't work, then we just repeat. And it works. Usually it works. Usually it means you accidentally forgot to like iterate this over here. So usually skipping ahead two tiles works. Um, can we dig? I'm going to take a screenshot, load it into the map predictor in a second here. Um, 
think this blue starfish here is our next target. All right. You can see a little bit better now. Clay farming is definitely start, going to start to get a little bit trickier as it gets darker in game. Start farming here at 420. So in three hours, got as much as I had by 230. Yeah, so I think I've, the beach is, so I think that's attributed to a few things. I think the beach is just better for clay farming since there's a lot more open space and less obstacles to work around than the farm. Um, and then in that time earlier in the day, we were also chopping some trees, which I regret doing now. Probably didn't need to chop trees. Um, the other thing was we went down and grabbed the spring onions. Um, we went into town, went to Robin, so we, we went quite a ways around the map, but I definitely think I can also improve a little bit and... My goal is enough clay to afford, oh, I did the wrong one. My goal is enough clay to afford the um, pack upgrade and two pepper poppers. Oh, I accidentally. Yeah, as you can see now, as I'm distracting myself here, I'm messing myself up a little bit. But that's why ultimately, for this first day at least, like maybe once I complete the first day again on my own, if I decide to redo it, which I probably will, because I think I can do even better than this day. Um, after that, on like day two and three, if I decide to do fishing, I believe fishing will be pretty easy to do on stream. So, um, I think I will eat this silver quality spring onion. I want to grab this clam at some point. One step. Can we not dig up that land? Looks like we cannot. That's another thing that I will improve on my second time around, is I will know which tiles I can till and not till. That's a pretty big thing to know. It's... And we've only been at the beach for about four hours, so we're approximately halfway there. Um, did I do this correctly? We just dug up the one above the... I think I accidentally pressed something that messed this up. No, I think we're... Hmm. I need to get to the bottom of this. 
So we just dug up the one above the blue starfish. Um, because we dug up the tile right there, here, and here. So the next one should be up there. Before that, where did we dig up? We dug up kind of along this way. I want to double check I did this correctly. Well, I guess we'll see if we're right. I don't know what I hit over here that I like, kind of messed it up, but. Hopefully we're back on track. But I do have to eat the leek. And I probably can eat the second leek, but won't worry about doing so yet. I think we're back on track. Well, as I say we're back on track, I... Okay, no, that's just, that's fine. I was supposed to dig this tile over there. I was worried I lost track, but we're good. Let's keep, keep pushing through. Almost there. Don't know if I can, I don't think I can dig up that tile. Pretty confident I can't, so let's go over here. And get out here now. That was two. Nope, wrong one. I go back down this way. Should also take another screenshot. And grab that clam at some time or another. Let me load in the screenshot. Yeah, clay farming is a bit exhausting. That was one step right there. Oh, why did I dig up that tile? Starting to choke a little bit here, but that's okay. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Delete the second leak here. And then actually we can get this tile and one more perhaps. Yeah, the pepper poppers are nice. They last like pretty much the whole day. I almost wonder if it would be worth it to leave the farm earlier grab the pepper poppers clay farm at the beach for a while or i don't know just essentially try to grab the pepper poppers slightly earlier in the day 
so that we, um, where was I? I think I'm right here. Basically grab the pepper poppers earlier in the day so we can have more time with the energy efficiency. Plus two farming makes us, I believe it makes it use 0.1 less energy per level. So plus two farming would be 1.8 energy per swing instead of two, which is a pretty noticeable difference. Given the amount of times we'll be swinging our tools, our hoe. Alright. I'm gonna think out loud here just a little bit. Um that was a good question, um, before I forget, that was a step. It was a good question earlier, how am I going to make this into a video? Because my end goal is to make a video guide, because there really aren't many min-max guides out there. They're mostly just streams, so I want to try to make a nice short video guide to follow as my end goal. So... I'm almost thinking I'm going to just record separate gameplay footage of me, like, not in the menu, just clay farming, just to, like, say in the part of the video where I'm explaining clay farming, just smoothly show the clay farming pattern and so on. So definitely have some ideas for that, but yeah, definitely don't want to include footage of me just pausing, pausing the whole time. But anyway, where was I in the clay farming pattern? I think I was here? Yep, we're good. Up here a little bit. Clay farming. Oh, there's one step right there. The clay farming pattern is starting to overlap in a lot of tiles now, which is a little annoying. But I'll have to find spaces that have not been tilled yet. Um, I think I tilled the wrong tile there. I think over here is a safe tile. Yep. I'll grab the clam now, finally. That was one more step I just took there. Hello, Lee. We're all <laughs> glad you're still here. I know it's got into the not so exciting part, but definitely okay if you're just lurking here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all right, sometimes talking to myself is good practice. Anyway. Let's hope this clay farming doesn't make me go too crazy here. Um, I need to restore a bit of energy. I think we have gotten like just the perfect amount of energy. I definitely know I'll need at least a few spring onions there, so I might as well eat them just right now. And then... One, two.
That was a step. It's a good thing I didn't try to get all of the steps out of the way at the start, or else that'd be bad because we're taking all of these accidental steps here. So good to have a little bit of wiggle room there. Oh, I think I forgot to press the button on the map predictor there. It's got to be a record for longest first day at Stardew Valley. Because I've been streaming for over four hours now, I believe. Dimitri just had a thought. I'd love to hear your thought. <laughs> Already got perfection. This guy's still on day one. Yep. Back to day one. Where are we? I think I need to take another screenshot. Takes a little bit of time for the image to process or do whatever it's got to. All right, there we go. All right. And we dig this tile right here. Yes, we can. Right, um, I guess we gotta make our way this way, or we could start back at the bottom here. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with you, Demetrius. I was thinking the same thing. Um, Demetrius says, getting the pepper poppers earlier could help. Maybe right when Gus gets to the counter, you'll need an energy boost. I didn't see earlier footage, though. Um, so I do get a pepper poppers from the trash can outside of the saloon. So I could technically get pepper poppers as early in the day as possible. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's beneficial. Maybe just leave the farm right away. Go for the pepper poppers, clay farm at the beach and then go up to robins or maybe i can play farm outside robins for long enough not exactly sure there's definitely some possibilities um i'll have to consider that for sure how much energy are we at 11. <laughs> Trashy pop, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I think I tilled that space, so now we're... Up here.
Um, I have not dug up this one, so I think I can start the pattern again here. Huh. One. That's strange. I thought it, I thought I got clay from... I just dug that tile, got a piece of clay here, and I think I dug this one as well, but according to the map predictor, did not get a clay. All right. Strange. Let me go back this way and see what happened. Okay, so... When that happens, I'm going to skip ahead just a couple tiles now. And then hope that one puts us back on track. Yeah, should be back on track now. Oh, shoot. I just realized, um... Somehow my dirt tilled got to 8,338. Which is definitely not accurate. Obviously the clay farming pattern repeats. Which is why this is okay. But I must have nudged one of the number keys or something at some point. But I was able to get back on track and we're following the pattern now. But I guess that is something to stay aware of. And yeah, having that extra pepper poppers would have helped here because we no longer have it. Now we're back to two energy per swing and normal move speed. Did not get a clay from that tile for some reason. I think I just dug up the wrong tile. Put it back on track. Honestly, I just have to set aside an entire day of my real life to making this first day as efficient as possible. <laughs> Poor Elliot going to wake up tomorrow thinking, what the hell happened to the beach? Actually, when he wakes up tomorrow, it's going to all be magically cleared. Because the dirt becomes untilled again, so... Who knows, maybe he woke up in the middle of the night and was like, shoot, gotta make my beach look pretty again. And he did it himself. Alright, I sort of lost the pattern here um i think i'm should be two spaces away okay we're good i got that one and then should be right here yeah it gets a bit tricky in the dark here I think these tiles are fair game. And I accidentally overexhausted ourselves, but that's okay because we're gonna level up a skill to wake up with four um full energy no matter what.
So when I try this again, I definitely need to learn how to use, I guess, the walk animation canceling. I'm still not too exactly sure how that works, but might be good to look into. And then pepper poppers is a big thing. Get the one from the trash can earlier in the day. Did I get a clay from that? No, I did not. What happened? I did not get a clay. Am I? Okay. So when I've lost the pattern like this, I think the best thing to do is first test. Okay, so it's not on this iteration, so I'm going to skip forward two iterations and then hope that fixes it. And it does, okay. Usually, it means I accidentally did an extra swing somewhere and didn't iterate this over here. So, usually, skipping to a head seems to fix it. Just a whole lot to keep track of. All right, we should make our way out of the beach pretty soon. I want to I want to grab the clay from this tile which I believe is the little starfish thing there. And then good Okay, there's no more clay along the way, so let's head to the saloon now. We'll see if there's any in the town. Um, doesn't look like there's any directly along the route, but that's okay. We should walk a few steps here. So I'm gonna do start with two. Put us at 780. Hopefully I counted these steps accurately. It would be a little embarrassing if I haven't, but also a fairly good chance that I haven't. Let's go back to... I'll go to default zoom level right now. Alright, let's take 10 more steps. A little worried about the chairs and if they count those steps or not. Alright. Yeah, sadly, just one pepper poppers. Really want more money before... I guess... When we drop off our stuff at Robin's or sell our clay at Robin's. It would be really nice to get some more coffees. Oh, the... The coffees are 300 G a piece and only last like, like, I don't know, a couple in-game hours. Not a lot of time. So I don't know how worth it the coffees are. And the pepper poppers are definitely better. But of course the coffee stacks with the pepper poppers. It's not worth it to use the pepper poppers at this time. I don't think so. 
We'll head on back to the farm now. Plant the seeds and use whatever time we have left to do a little more clay farming. We'll slowly but surely make our way back. Okay, oh, grabbed the wrong thing there. So the bus stop has a piece of clay out there that we'll grab. Should be right here, but let's eat spring onion. And then we will have a little more energy from these leaks we'll grab here. I believe there should be three. Um, no more clay along the way. All right, back at the farm. Um, I'm going to upload whatever my last farm screenshot was because it'll show us some of the tilled land already. All right, we're almost there. Hello, PBJ Turbo. Glad you can make the stream. So um let's see how much money have we made we got enough for the pack upgrade and to buy the pepper poppers and then we have 233 clay times 20 so this is 4660 gold here so overall we've made around maybe like six to seven thousand which is less than I've hoped for, most likely. Um, I'm going to be redoing this first day on my own time. It's a little bit more difficult to stream and do everything as, um, at the same time, but this is also my first attempt at this day, so it does make sense that it's a little suboptimal right now, but I maybe should have gotten a little more mixed seeds we're gonna throw them in here and then i guess we'll see if the crop fairy does come because i believe it should i want them as clustered together as possible here and then All right, so I might eat one more spring onion if I need to. Yeah, definitely not bad, but definitely can make some improvements. Okay, so I'll probably end up selling the mussels and clam here. Because we can't eat them, of course. 
the the axe here. Keep in the chest for now. And then I guess zoom in on the fairy. I don't know. I guess we do a little more clay farming here. And we need to take a few more steps as well. Can't forget that. It's probably the most important part here. So I'll just do that before we forget. We're at 290. So the next clay deposit would be, I guess, a little bit this way. Let's take like a couple steps. Um, I couldn't dig up that tile, but that was one step. Let's take another step in a second. Um, well, let me write that one down before I forget. All right, so I'm going for this clay right here. And there should be one above this log. And then we'll need to take a few more steps to the next clay deposit. All right, so let's try, that's four. I'll honestly be impressed if I got the steps right the first time. I'm expecting the worst, but definitely would be cool if I just got it right the first time. Right. Still have an hour, so I won't throw the items into the shipping bin just yet. Okay, that wasn't a step, that was just the grass making noise. Don't know what's behind this tree, but there is a clay deposit right here. One time you thought you heard 11 instead of 10. Yeah, definitely possible. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how many steps I did end up taking once we go to sleep, but I do a little more clay farmer now. All right, that's one, two more there. And I think there's one here. And around the corner this way. How much energy we're at? We're at eight. Probably can eat that last spring onion. Um, guess I will mine this rock. Grab that clay. The next clay is down a bit.
Oh, it broke the pattern right there. So the next one. Guess we gotta go back up by the farm here. It's one up there, but actually I think I can do one right here. Um yeah, we'll eat the spring onion. That should be the last energy restoration we need. I think we can dig this tile. Um maybe not, maybe it was already dug. Um, in that case, our next tile would be here, and then up here, all right, and there's no more clay deposits real close nearby, so let's go ahead and while we're by the shipping bin, Drop off the clay and the other stuff. And when this closes, it will sound like a footstep. All right, we have a few more steps. That's five. So it's at 300, 11 more to go. Oh, the moment of truth is coming soon. I'm. I'm afraid to face it, but we'll see what happens. Wish I had another spring onion. We'd be eating a leek. I don't know if I want to waste a leek. We're going to spend the last few moments 11 more steps. All right. Hold on. We might have to eat this because I did not hear any steps. All right, ready? 11. Eleven, okay. We made eleven. Hopefully, I could very well be wrong. That was a waste of a leak, but maybe when we're exhausted, steps aren't counted? I have no clue. But anyway, Let's see what happens. Yeah, we'll see the crop berry here. Um, yeah, most likely I want to redo this day anyway because I can get the pepper poppers earlier, which will help with clay farming efficiency a whole lot. Um, I can not waste as much time on the farm. Ooh, I'm just nervous to see this here. Got a little bit of money there. But yeah, day two is definitely going to be fishing with the treasure chests, I think. It's going to be the best money-making strategy. All right. Is it super luck? Okay. It is super luck. But is it point one? That's the real question. Um, I wonder if I can show this off. So we're in Canada. Um, question is which save file is the right one here? Does it make a new save folder every time I change the seed? Because 29964 is the new seed, so it must make a new folder every time. Alrighty. 
So let me add window capture notepad. All right. Let's take a look here. Daily block point. Well, I was wrong because point zero nine is not what I'm looking for. How many steps were we off? Steps. Really? 303? And we counted 311. If anything, I thought I would have taken more than I actually did, so... I wonder what must have... what had to have caused it. It must be... I'm not sure. I think I did a pretty good job of paying attention so I think it must be those like trick steps where it makes a noise but I think it's a step yeah almost there but it's okay I'm not too worried about it because I'm for sure redoing this day anyway even if I was to go along with this day right here um daily luck it was it was point nine or point zero nine instead of point one which is still super luck um so it's not bad but definitely need to be more accurate on the step counting so anyway before i end the stream here i think i will go over what exactly I need to improve on here. I'm going to close up the map predictor now. I can get rid of the steps here. So, day two, the plan is fishing. Um, what are the bubbles for this day? So, David, the bubbles are based off of the dynamic seeding. I'll show that off one more time. I'm going to use the, the same one that Blade did in his Penny Marriage run because he was going for fishing on the second day, I believe, as well. So if we go to New Game, enter the new seed right here and then load in this day that we left off, it'll load in this day with that new seed. So, okay, let's clear up some here. I'll, I'll do that later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little confused here. But what's also cool about the dynamic seeding is it looks like it creates a new save because now I still have day one of spring. So rather than having to make a backup copy every time, I can just use that one again. Although I will restart it and try to get a good seed, but but yeah, there should be bubbles there. We do get the furnace recipe from Clint, so that's good. The crop fairy already got us our parsnips here, so that's nice. Farming level one on day two is it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Um. So I'm trying to think, we need 2,000 G for the copper pickaxe upgrade. That's pretty trivial. Um, we'll be buying a bunch of supplies, spicy eels from the saloon. I, um, if I get the seed right, that is, I wonder what, I wonder what seed, because I think the saloon items is based off of the dynamic seeding so it might be different but I'll, I'll check that later um tomorrow i'll 
We got a red plate. That's decent. Tomorrow, in real life, I'll probably try to do this on my own. Because I do enjoy streaming, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that first day down exactly how I want it over stream. So, And also, in order to get the footage I want to make a video guide out of, I need to redo it because I still can't figure out how to record game footage and stream at the same time. Well, I, I know how to, but like, it just is really funky with OBS and doesn't work, like the plugins I've tried and whatnot. So, just take a break from that um, music down there. But yeah, let's check out the bubbles on the beach real quick. And yeah, so improvements I need to make. Grab the pepper poppers earlier. For sure. Yeah, you can see there's bubbles right there. And then I think they will constantly keep spawning around and will be in reachable locations. So I'm keeping it? No. I am, um... I'm gonna be redoing day one. Yeah, no, I'm... My plan, um, music volume's loud. My plan is to upload the, like, the raw footage on either a second channel or something just to show, like, the full run, just kind of as proof as I, as I did it. Um, and then, of course, I'll edit and make it into a nice video guide. So, yeah. Day one, tons of improvements. I'll be able to make a nice script and kind of include the trial and error aspects in that video guide. Honestly, I could pro- <laughs> I haven't decided yet, but day one, I could probably, it, like, 30 minutes for just going over the whole day when there's so much involved. But I think I'd rather do that than, like, a separate- make it into separate videos so we'll see um thank you for everybody who stopped by the stream today and who tuned in i appreciate it a lot this run is gonna be a little bit crazy i think um oof, yeah day one i'm gonna get day one Perfect. That's my goal here. Day one, perfect, because it'll set up the rest of the run. So, I think it's worth retrying. 20 spring onions. Gonna keep reloading until I get 20 spring onions. And then pepper poppers right away. Go up to Robins. Sell the clay. Get money for more materials, supplies. And then clay farm on the beach. And of course, get the copper from Clint. So, yeah. Thank you once again, and goodbye. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Appreciate it, everybody.